Hello, everyone. Welcome to PaizoCon, and welcome to Roll for Combat. Tonight, we're going to be playing Tales from the Black Lodge. And for those of you who don't know what this is, well, I'll give you a little bit of information on it. But first of all, I'm going to introduce... Well, not first of all. I'm going to show you that we have four of our regulars. We'll have John Stats, Jason McDonald, Chris Beamer, and Seth Lipton. They will introduce themselves and their characters in a second. And, of course, we have someone new, some some miscreants, some rustabouts, some Eric Mona has decided to crash the party. That's me. Hey, hey that is you. What do you know? <laughs> hi, uh, guys. <laughs> oh, hi, Eric. We didn't see you there. But um, we will go through the intros in a bit. But first of all, I just wanted to do a quick intro because I saw someone say, what is a role for combat? And who is this Eric Mona? Well, first we'll do who is the role for combat. So role for combat, if you don't know, we're an official Paizo partner, and we host a podcast. We've done Dead Space. Uh, Dead Space? Um, we did the original uh, Starfinder Adventure Path from beginning to end, so you can listen to that. We just did Fall of Plague Stone from beginning to end. We are currently doing uh, Three Ring Adventure, which is Extinction Curse, and we're about halfway through the first book. And then, of course, we have this Tales from the Black Lodge, and where we do episodic adventures based in the world of Pathfinder Society. And every adventure, we have a new guest. Sometimes we have Vanessa Hoskins. Sometimes we have Eric Mona. Sometimes we're going to have someone like Param from Roll to Direction, No Direction, and so forth. And in addition, if you want, you can also check out our Discord channel, at Discord that Roll for Combat, where we are one of the largest online lodges. We have over 250 games going on right now of Pathfinder and Starfinder Society. So if you want to play online after PaizoCon is over, just check it out. It's just discord.rollforcombat.com. And of course, we do reviews and information about anything Paizo related. We also interview people on occasion from Paizo, talk about things that are upcoming. But before I get too much into that, let's start our intros off with who and what everyone is playing tonight. Let's start with Mr. John Stats and Mr. Peepers. Good evening. My name is John Stats, and I'll be playing Mr. Peepers tonight. Mr. Peepers is a second-level halfling rogue. Uh, he has earned a reputation for finding trouble where there shouldn't be any. And as someone with no sense of self-preservation, he's been the sole survivor to several expeditions and leaves a legacy of unfinished business. So uh, you'll see him getting into trouble tonight. And next up, we have our very own Jason McDonald, a.k.a. Nella Amberleaf. Yeah, hi folks. My name is Jason McDonald. I'm playing Nella Amberleaf, a uh, half-elf druid of the Wild Order, which means sh she's eventually going to spe specialize in turning all into all sorts of fun, weird critters, though that's kind of a work in progress at level two. So right now she kind of just sits back and throws fire at stuff and hits stuff with a stick. So uh, also in the larger role for combat world, I am also our kind of resident blogger, and I do weekly recaps of both our Black Lodge and Extinction Curse shows. And of course, we have Mr. Chris Beamer, Thorgrim. Are you paying attention, Chris? As I yes. Looking away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my name is Chris Beamer. I'll be playing uh, Thorgrim Stout Brew, who is a dwarven champion of Iomede, or Iomede. Um, he had a rough and tumble life early on, uh, found his way a uh, prisoner of the uh, Archduch Archduchy of Menador, which is in Cheliax, and was rescued uh, ultimately by a group of adventurers that were Pathfinders. And so now he has sworn his sword and his trusty trident to the Pathfinder cause and for smiting evil. Next up, we have everyone's favorite goblin, but not a goblin, Nix Nox, Seth Lipton. Seth. Can't hear oh, you, Seth. Forgot, you forgot push the I talk. pushed the talk. I forgot to push the talk. That was so good, too. You're used like, to board games. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. So I play Nyx Nox, a wizard's creation. Uh, a fire elemental in the guise of a goblin sorcerer. And last but not least, 
Volterius, Eric Muna. Who is this mysterious Volterius? Uh, Vorteris the Impatient is a novice member of the Pathfinder Society, having just within the last couple of weeks passed his confirmation uh, as a new recruit who is very excited to make the most of uh, his time uh, as a starting adventurer. He has spent a great deal of time uh, leading up to the last uh, few years uh, deep in study and after much consultation of uh, books in libraries. He has taught himself just the rudiments of arcane magic as a transmuter. And uh, Vorteris uh, is freshly returned from his first adventure as a Pathfinder agent uh, in the august company of, uh, of the folks you see assembled here uh, uh, in a in a yet to be released episode, I believe, uh, of the the Black Lodge, um, and uh, yeah, he's looking forward to um, as kind of a eager new recruit uh, to go on his second adventure ever. Oh, and uh, one other thing, uh, Vorteris is uh, eighty five years old. <laughs> human, yes, human. So uh, one thing I also wanted to mention, some people have mentioned, since we're actually not on the the Twitch stream for Paizo themselves, if people have hero and villain points, that's one thing we didn't figure out, um, you can't use them. But that's okay, don't worry, I got you covered. Because instead we'll just do it the old-fashioned voting system, is that I will tell you at times where you can either vote for or against certain people or things. Oh, no. So you can, it's more freeing. So I am watching the stream right here on my TV, so I'm going to actually see as you're doing the chats. So everyone can participate. Everyone could, you know, tell Volteris to do a better job and give him that inspiration or tell Thorgrim that he really should open up his shield and take one for the team because why not? So we'll, we'll figure out how that's going to go. Um, and then of course, what are we playing tonight? That's a big question. Well, I surprised you. I told you we're going to be playing a quest, but actually we're starting a brand new adventure path. I thought maybe we can go old school and do order of the Amber die and just like blow through that first. We're just going to go all night. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No one nice. has to work tomorrow. We'll just keep going. Wait, I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, well, all right. Okay. <laughs> I'm working right now. Oh, uh, all right. There you go. I want your job. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to do, I believe it's Grundens, Grundens Gortlet which is by Kate Baker. Hey, Kate Baker, guest of honor. It is a one-hour adventure, a quest, if you will. Now, the last time we did a one-hour adventure quest, it took us on the nose four hours to do. So we have three hours. But the good news is Peyton told me there's no one after us, so we can just keep going forever. So we'll see how this one-hour adventure goes. And although this is Pathfinder Society, I'm making Pathfinder Society-esque, which means I might be throwing a few things in here that might not be completely legal for various funness. So, And plus, everyone's going to be voting, so that's not legal. So this ain't officially legal, so keep that in mind. So it's Pathfinder Society light, if you will. Now with that, I think we're ready to begin, I'm actually can't believe we got through that all so quick. And by the way, here's the full character artwork. I wanted to make sure everyone got to see what everyone looks like in their glory and beauty. And this is uh, this is one of their official artists, T.S. Rodriguez. He does almost everything for our show. He does character art for every one of our characters in every podcast. So we also even have T-shirts for some of them and so forth. And if you ever want to watch our streams or check out the podcast, you can find out more at rollforcombat.com. With that, let's start where you always start. And that is in, in front of, hold on. I moved you there, but not myself. A lodge, a Pathfinder's Lodge, if you will. Our lodge. Now, this actually is not your lodge. This is another lodge. You have traveled far, far to the north. And the land 
of the Lindorm Kings, way, way north. And you are an ice fairy, where you're here to meet Venture Captain Bershing Tursen. But before you enter the lodge, maybe we should talk about your last adventure so people are caught up a little bit about your craziness that has not gone public yet because it has not been published on the podcast yet, but it will be in a few weeks. From the adventuring journal of Vortalis the Impatient. First draft in preparation for submission to the Pathfinder Chronicles. For long decades have I studied in anticipation of this day, when I and allies of fellow confirmed Pathfinder field agents gather under the banner of fellowship and exploration to seek out the wonders of the world, to explore strange locations and delve the deepest dungeons for treasures worthy of the questing heroes of legend. Our first mission, my first mission, put me in the company of a group of battle-hardened adventurers who had gone on at least one, possibly as many as three adventures prior to my joining. They were Nix Knox, the goblin sorcerer. But if you ask me, the fire in his heart hints at a much stranger origin. The young goblin defers to me as an elder, as well he should, and I found him to be an able companion on our most important mission. Also with us, the halfling, Mr. Peepers. He keeps himself largely cloaked and wears a silly hat. But that hat hides a cunning mind. And he, more than any of our companions, knows that the path of glory is tread upon stones paved with gold. For Mr. Peepers is always on the lookout for treasure. With us as well, the learned half-elf druid Nella Amberleaf, a plant-oriented woman who... It was rooted in the values of the old faith that has guided so many druids before her. Also with us, the eminently brave Thorgrim the Lion, whose head is as hard as his axe. And <coughs> enable a group I have never known before. My previous companions being not worthy of comment in a journal so important as the Pathfinder Chronicles. But with these new heroes, I set out on a mission to Port Paro in the far and distant lands of the Shackles Islands, have of pirates, buccaneers, and scum of all stripes. We would fit in, indeed. We hitched a ride on a ship known as a glorious payoff captained by the able Callistro Benari. And on this journey, I learned much of my new companions that I shall record in depth in a further appendix to my submission to this chronicle. But now let's proceed with the events of our last in- adventure. After months at sea, what seemed like months, but was probably a week or three, we were dropped off, not on an island of the shackles, but on an abandoned forlorn sandbar miles from the nearest shore. There we awaited another vessel, which finally took us to Port Peril, where we were to meet with our Pathfinder Society contact, the venture captain Stella Thane herself, a member of the the Shackles Isles August Pirate Council. We were to get her to sign a document for the Pathfinder Society, my first mission, the glorious first step on my destiny to become the adventurer that for six long, lonely decades I have plotted to be, took us to a bar on a dockside to get a signature. Three weeks on that ship with halflings and goblins to get a signature. But 
Oh, steps. Our journey start with a single step. We got to Stella Thane. We presented her with the paper. She signed it, but as if to mock us in this hive of scum, she knocked over a tray of, of food, starting a bar brawl, and with a wink, she teleported away magic that, oh, one day I shall master myself. One day. But before that happens, we needed to get out of that bar with our signed paperwork to return to the Grand Lodge in Absalom. And there was a big fight. I turned into a cloud of insects and hid under maybe a mouse. I think it was a mouse. And hid under a table. My companion stabbed and fought. And uh, mostly it was nonviolent, but it was going to turn lethal. I might have been stepped upon. A most ignominious end for my first adventure. But eventually, through the miracle of teamwork, we as a brave group of Pathfinder agents escaped from that bar brawl without killing more than three innocents. And we fled. We returned to the sandbar for an uncomfortably long time and awaited our return ship, which did come, though not as soon as Vorteris the Impatient would have preferred, it must be said. But on that return, as we recounted our victories together, we became a group of bonded friends and boon companions. The Pathfinder Chronicles shall echo with our adventures for years to come. And that brings us here, to the lands of the Linorm Kings. What adventures will await us? I do not know, but my pen stands ready to record, and I will submit them to you the Pathfinder Chronicles, in hope that they may be published and shared so that our fame may spread. Yours truly, Vorteris the Impatient. Outstanding. Wow. Okay, that sounds a whole lot cooler <laughs> than what, we, what I remember. <laughs> I remember the Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. <laughs> it was something like that. <laughs> Well, I think we're going to have to hire Eric to recap every <laughs> one of our podcasts. Yeah. I come cheap, man. <laughs> and he did that off the top of his head. I'm stunned. It's almost Sorry. like you do this for a living or something. I guess. All right, show's over. Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> Can't talk I would have liked a little more embellishments on my bravery in that particular. I know. I, I thought about it. it. You I heard mean, him. I, I, you we lucky heard I didn't him. mention how you broke into a chest and destroyed a bunch of priceless alcohol. But yeah, we'll leave that out. That's, that'll well, be. Yeah. Man, he was the one getting punched most. Very That's nice true. Point. Yeah, I, they didn't like my my. I didn't. I don't, I don't know what they, they they didn't like dwarves. I'll say that. They, they, I, they, by the way, that was totally stream of consciousness. If that went 36 minutes, I apologize to everyone <laughs> in the chat. That so the chat loved it. By the way, I forgot something that you reminded me, Eric. So we made a big mistake last time. So mm. um, I forgot this. So when we were in the middle of that bar brawl, you mm -hmm. turned yourself into yeah. a mouse. I know where this is going. And mm -hmm. you were stepped on. Yeah. And you only had two hit points left. But yeah. I forgot that when you're in pest form, yeah. you have we extra five, five yeah. points of damage. So yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes things break in the direction of the players uh, and sometimes they break in the direction of the field. And right Just after the recap, Volteris kills over dead. <laughs> Thank you and good night. We're done. Eric Mona is dead. Thank you for joining right. us, Eric. We Thank will you guys. It's always wait, a pleasure. Wait. Lay on hands. Lay on hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, right. I have a potion Woo. here somewhere. Yeah. Stand by Thank for God. one hit point. Thank God. All right. All right. Back, back. Okay. I did promise you would die tonight, and this is it. That was um yeah, it was it was bothering me that I didn't get to kill you last time. I know. I yeah, it bothered me that I didn't fun. notice the mistake, but I know it bothered me that I didn't the mistake because how often you, you tried? Someone, how often does someone actually go into pest form in a bar brawl? First it, time. I, that was that was it was very funny. So, anyhow, as I said, you are here in the land of the Linorm Kings. You are at the Pathfinder's Lodge. You have just listened to Volteris's lovely recap. What do you do? I say we head on in. 
Yeah, is there anybody outside of the lodge? No, the, there's a door. There's a door. No representation? Oh. No. I, I'm hypnotized by that fire effect, actually. That's pretty serious. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching that thing. Mm -hmm. um, That's the whole point. It's there to distract you. This is, I, a, this is a Pathfinder watch? Yes. Yes, we, okay. paid, our, we paid our dues. So yeah. We're yeah. current. We, we, we don't. No need to uh, search for traps. So opening doors. Clang, clang. on the Bang on the door. You open you you uh you are greeted by a gnome and she is prominently wearing a wayfinder on her chest and she looks at you and says, Yes, yes, sir. Uh, are you the members of the Black Lodge? We we were expecting you. Uh, I thought there were five of you. Where I only count four. There are five of us. Yes, please let us in. It's it's quite cold out here. Yeah, Nick Knox blends in with the fire. He has to, uh, like, he, he, well, oh, uh, oh, there he is. Oh, a uh, little sneaky goblin. I see, I see. Come in, come in. We're expecting you. Come in out of the cold. And uh, she, she, she mentions you to come in, come in. She says, hold on a minute. Let me uh, summon the master. Vortaris, uh, come in out of the cold. We have a brandy it's, here ready for you. It's yeah. Oh, yes. Side. Perhaps also a blanket of some kind. Oh, yeah. There's blankets yeah. and pillows here, too. Oh, that's all oh, pillows. Oh, my bones. <laughs> Not as much padding back there as I used to be. You understand? Uh, she, she walks over, and there's a cord, and it's labeled office from a hand from a bundle of colored cords near the door. She goes over and she pulls that cord down, and off in the distance, you hear a bell chime. And then she walks over to the door, and she's like, this way, this way, follow me. And she leads yeah. you over to this door here in the north. Where's Nick Knox? I can't see him. Nick Knox is always hiding. Underneath. Yeah, I, I do have uh, stealth almost always active. Like, I'm almost always, like, just furtively going from shadow to shadow. And uh, as, as the door opens, you suddenly see three scampering goblins dashing down the hall and a large husky barking and chasing them down the hallway. Ruff, 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 ruff. And the goblins are just making fun and obviously enjoying being chased by this dog. Why, you're not sure. And the the dwarf just puts her head in her hands. Sorry, the gnome just gnome, puts yeah. the dwarf, her head in her hands and just shakes it. And then she's like, oh, not again. Not again. You have goblins roaming the halls here? It's a strange lodge indeed. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Yes. We are quite some distance from our homes. And so wait, so let me just get this, get this clear. The goblins are having fun with the dog? They seem to be chasing the dog, and the dog's chasing them. These goblins seem to be kind of having fun. Yeah, it's kind of a little weird. Like, like a friendly relationship between these goblins and the dog? I don't know if I'd call it friendly. More like the goblins are trying not to get bit by the dog. And every, and uh, while you see that occurring, a very large husky half-orc bursts into the hallway. And it's chaotic. it just sort of says, Maki, come here. And the dog like starts barking at the goblins and looks at them and snarls and it comes back. The goblins are just like, kind of like toying with the dog. They're like, ha, 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 he, 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 he. and then they run away and you can, <laughs> they run around the corner. The, mm, mm, it's nice. And um, he, he looks at you all and then he mentions you to follow him into a greeting, into a meeting room. He's ignoring those goblins. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I'll follow him. Try to ignore the goblins. Yeah, the goblins. Here we go. Things are a bit rural here, it seems. <laughs> I'm so curious, uh, sir. Yeah. Uh, those goblins are? Uh, are they? Do they work here? Or? He 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 looks at you, and um, you actually know this. 
is that he's deaf and he's using sign language. So he's reading your lips, but he does, he does talk and he says, yes, those goblins, they help out around here. Oh, apologies for the ruckus. Those frost furs are talented scouts and helpers, but they have a very adversational relationship with Monkey. She doesn't particularly like them either. Always antagonizing her. Terrible, I say. Terrible. But welcome, welcome to my lodge. We're expecting you. It did take quite a long time to get here, I must say. Once to the Shackles Isles, twice to the lands of the Linorm Kings, I suppose. Next, I would be off to Brevoy, and then to Nex, and then mm, perhaps to let's, Fudra. Let's hope not. Well, I am getting my fill of travel. Well, you, you are Pathfinders. I understand that comes with the job. It's one of the perks, right? You get to travel the world, do adventuring, help yes. out folks like myself. Yes. It just takes a long time sometimes. Well, let's get to it. The reason I called you here, the Grand Skuldor family traces their lineage back to the storied warriors of Grundle, the Sky Chaser, the Linorn King who ruled over the city of Jol, and whose victories in battle are legendary. The family still has a lot of influence. I've asked, I've asked them to help out the society, and they've asked for a favor in exchange. That's where you come in. Are you familiar with Valen Hall? Are we familiar with Valen Hall? If you want, you can roll a society check or a Ulfin lore check. If you wish. Oh, did you say warfare lore? Uh, society check. Um, I'll do a society check, sure. It's an Ulfin. I'll let you do these open. They're supposed to be secret, but it's going to be more fun if everyone sees. Sure. Yes. All righty. Hold on a second. Society of a nine. Oh, I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe I've come across that name in any of the wow. many books and tomes that I have perused over the years. Is it a person? Anyone uh, else? Uh, I, I, I have a different tack. I, for, yeah. There's a couple of things. I'm going to nest a couple of things. One thing is uh, I, I, I am not 100% because of my sorcerer lineage and my, uh, my elemental blood. I'm not 100% a goblin, so I don't really smell like a goblin. And I am trained in nature, and I want to, bef I want to befriend the dog. Because Nick Sox actually likes dogs. Nick Sox is going in a totally different direction. Sure, you roll that nature to see if All you right. can go over to the dog and pet it. Mm, watch your hand. You're supposed to ask for permission. That's right. You are. Nature of an eight. You guys are off to Oopsie. a lovely start. <laughs> wow, well, it's our typical good. start. You know, <laughs> you go near the dog and it starts to growl. It's like, Rrr. good dog, good dog. <laughs> and, and the half or the orc looks at you and he's like, "You, you might want to stick away, goblin. <laughs> he doesn't seem to like you. She doesn't seem to I, like I, you." I, I, I double much. down and I intimidate the dog with a glance. What? <laughs> That's so go mean. For it. Oh my! But God. If it's gonna growl at me, I'm gonna growl back. Okay, fair enough. Well, it, and then we'll go. 21. Um, okay, the, the dog sort of like whimpers behind uh, the, the orc. and uh, Now having established my dominance over the dog, I then turn to the, turn to the half orc and I, and I say, I've never heard of this. I've never heard of this. But then again, I've never been around much. Could you tell us? Yes, he actually is a half orc. I was just checking. <sighs> Well, yes, let me tell you, Valenhall is a place where after those are ready to die or those who have died try to travel, they wish to enter into glorious battle or glorious sunset to be remembered for years afterwards. 
Grand the Sun Chaser never got to sail to Valen Hall. She died in w- in what she planned to be her last battle, where Gorget was passed down to her descendants, most recently to Halvert, also in Linnor Crin King. Halvert has an impressive warrior in his youth, but a month ago he sailed off towards Valenhall to set up a shrine to Grunda. There and finish her journey, he planned to ensure the Gorket found its final home in a place of honor. Unfortunately, something happened to his ship, the Sure Seeker. Along the way, merchants report that the ship is still partially above water, but they didn't get close enough to find out what happened. While his children respected Halvard's decision, they would rather not have their father's body and the priceless family heirloom at the bottom of the sea. I'd like you to find the ship, retrieve Halvard's body, and the gorket. I've arranged a ship for you, the Wandering Hearth, to follow the sh- the Share Seeker's path through the steaming sea. That's right, guys. Another adventure on water. water. Love it. Water. Tell Not me how water, situational kid. my uh, wow. I'm tell me again how situational, situational my uh, your feet is, features. Yes. Wow. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to start. This is gonna this is such a running gag now. I'm gonna have to start being uh, BA Baracas from the A team, and you're gonna have to like tranquilize me to get me onto the water. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're gonna keep intimidating dogs, I'm gonna hang you over the side as an anchor. Yeah. <laughs> I actually want to make friends with the dog. I was just showing the dog who's boss. It, like, he just, he just wants to know who, who Doc Dog is. is actually going to try to calm the dog down while that while he's doing the lore dump. Oh, okay. You could do uh you could do your nature check. And now, if you have any questions for the venture captain, Torson, oh, now 18, easily is able to walk over to the dog and have it licking your hand, and you can pet the dog, no problem. The dog likes you. <laughs> so Gorget, Gor- Gorget is, a, is a piece of armor, yes? That's a, yeah. That's like a, yeah. Uh, it's like, like a neck thing. thing. It's like a neck, neck armor, thing. yeah. Hey, I had French class in high school. <laughs> Oh, yes. Uh, so they, they want us to retrieve this heirloom uh, in the water again. Hmm. My lads. Yeah, I can show you a picture of what he looks like. Nice. Seeking the sunken ship of a Viking king is much more important than getting a signature in a bar. This sounds to, like a true adventure. I would have to agree with you, my learned friend. So yes. did did somebody survive from this this crash? What, what what do we know how it came about that this the ship was sunk? We 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 don't quite know. The the crew made it to shore in a lifeboat, but their stories conflict. Something may have attacked the ship or it may have run aground on something, and Halva told them to leave while he investigated. He never lit the signal light that said it was okay to return, so the crew just went home. And they're gone. They split up, or are they sitting around town? They're on another ship now, unfortunately. Oh. They should be back in about six months, but we can't wait that long. How long ago did this happen? Oh, very recently. Maybe two months ago, one month. Enough that the body should still be fairly fresh. <laughs> Two months in the water geez. in the sea. <laughs> oh my god! My feet once soaked in thigh high water for three weeks, and I almost lost my legs. There is no <laughs> way a dead body will last that long. None, none. Well, we would be lucky if we find really? this piece of armor w- with a with a spine in it. Well, I'll tell you, then bring back what you can find. And he pulls up a sack and he's like, put them yeah. in the sack if you must. We'll need we'll a, bring back what you can find. We'll need a sack, that's for sure. All right, sack. I'll take the sack. I can carry stuff. Yeah, you're strong. Well, Mr. Peepers doesn't see any reason why not to do this. There's obviously no signs of danger. So I don't see any point in taking precautions. Do you guys uh, want to go? 
Well, one more. Uh, I do not want to go. I do not want to go back into the water. I don't want to waste <laughs> the water. I don't want to go. I do not want to waste any more time before we seize our destiny. But are there any other parties I- interested in this wreck that we might be looking out for? Is it known? Is there the treasure seekers or mermaids? Nature check. Uh, mm, uh, Amber, <laughs> that's where you come in. Oh, all right. I can take a shot at that. Twenty-three. Damn. You know many things about wow. the storming sea. Sorry, steaming sea. A welcome change. Uh, The steaming sea is named for the thick mist that hangs over the waters. Frequent volcanic activity from the Hellrung Mountains leads to the sudden formation of new islands and ridges. It is a fairly safe place, although many intelligent aquatic creatures have societies in the steaming sea, including merfolk and aquatic elves. Some of the other creatures that live in here include sharks, sea drakes, Kraken and sea serpents. See, Nick Knox, there's volcanoes involved. You'd like the you like volcanoes, right? Uh, I love volcanoes. I don't like the volcano in the water. This is very <laughs> picky, picky. Do you, you got to put you got to put up with one to get the other? Amber, do you share that information? Oh yeah, I, I I certainly give the party the the detail. The detail. Krakens and volcano. This is the stuff of legends, my friend. Yes. Are there plankton, sea greens, and proteins from the sea? <laughs> <laughs> plankton, sea greens, protein too from the sea. Let me freeze you. <laughs> that is a deep cut. That is Low deep. Cut. I, I, I wonder, I wonder if anybody in the chat can get that. Thank you very much. I Good missed job. that reference myself. I've been Logan. isolated from media for six decades. And it's, uh, very yes, uh, we, we need to discuss that at some point at length. Well, let us focus on what is ahead of us rather than what mistakes <laughs> may have influenced the past. That's what I always say. Best make use of the time you have left than dwell on the time that has already passed. Mm, yes. <laughs> yes. Good point. <laughs> You're going for the sympathy vote. Oh, yeah. oh. Well, Cortez, uh, I have a, a flask here of I was ma- I managed to save some of the rum from the sandbar. Would you like a, a, a quick sip of this? Uh, uh, no, no, I have sworn to myself that I should never taste the demon spirit again. For if one does, one may make terrible mistakes, perhaps a series. Terrible mistakes. That, well, well, perhaps we, we've uh, won over this once. Perhaps before. We, yes. Perhaps when we conclude our adventures here, we can all celebrate with a. With a oh, I will celebrate, but it will be unfortunately with a cup of bitter tea. <laughs> 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 all right, let's head out. Okay, we're we've the had, goblins. We've defeated yeah, Krakens with, with the, yeah, Krakens. <laughs> Krakens are Whatever. Hey, I'm excited. Krakens are going to get us into the Pathfinder Chronicles for sure. That's, yeah. <laughs> Nick Knox, the dog told me that she'll be very impressed with, with you if you go on this adventure with us. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. So with that, you get directions as to where the um, where the actual boat is. And let us jump to the boat. Shall this we? is the Wandering Hearth. Is that the name of the boat? That's the boat uh, that we have. That's not the, the name of the Wandering crash Hearth. That is because the one we're taking to get to the Correct. Shore Seeker. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Got to get everything correct. They are very picky at the Pathfinder Chronicles editorial office. <laughs> are they planning to strand us on a random sandbar at any point? Oh, not again. We, we but let one. me guess. I bet this wreck is is uh, on a sandbar right now. Uh, <sighs> we're going to find out, aren't we? I guess. So with that, you you join the Jolly Roger. I mean, the Wandering Hearth. It is a very nice ship. 
It looks strikingly similar to every other ship you've taken in pretty much every single tale that we've told here at the Black Lodge. What is it with Pathfinder Society and water? I think that is more of a question for Eric Mona than myself, <laughs> uh, if you want to know. I mean, hey, if you're going to explore the world and there's no real reliable air travel, going by sea is your best bet. So it does behoove a Pathfinder agent to learn a little bit about the aquatic life. <laughs> That's and it is, and we are on a boat. Uh, yeah, it's yes. you know, We're like the boat. song goes. <laughs> take, take a long, hard look. Uh, yes. <laughs> so you join the crew. There's uh, four crew members: Patty, Mike, Jane, and Stan. That's right. Simple names. Uh, the captain <laughs> is a middle-aged Olfin woman. Her name is Alenia. Vigrinhal, and she gruffly welcomes you onto the ship and says, oh, yes, well, we're well supplied and prepared for the journey, but I'm warning you all right now that the route is far from safe and you should always remain wary uh, as we're going into the steaming sea. Who knows what we might find there? Uh, how long is this journey? A few days, a few days. Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. We've got more than enough provisions, even for you, dwarf. Yeah, and Gorm's like grumbling on his brother. I can't really run on a boat again. It's, it's, it's a full plate doesn't work well with the water. This is terrible. I'm getting seasick already. Mr. Peepers, on the other hand, he's been preparing for this his whole life, right? You're like Mr. Mr. Water Adventure. Oh, absolutely. He's an underwater marauder. He's um he's ready for the <laughs> he's ready for the the ocean. This is great. And with that, she's like, "Okay, let's let us go." And she uh, she casts off, and you start. The journey. Now, I should mention, of course, everyone has one hero point. And, um, you know, the journey starts, and you have a couple of days to fill. I don't know if there's anything you guys wish to discuss before we get into the nitty gritty. Are we going to slot lay on hands? Is this where we uh, do that? Oh, yeah. I, um, so normally with Pathfinder Society Adventures, we go through all the slots. We go through what you're doing for spells, scrolls, and swords. Um, we're doing that ahead of time, and we're just doing the standard. Everyone took, uh, what is it, the crystal and a healing potion, and then if you want to slot one of your boons, uh, most of you have that lay on hands boon. Uh, I presume you're all going to slot that one, right. and where you get a free lay on hands. All of you have two free lay on hands, except for Thorgrim, who already has lay on hands, because that's what he does, and he has one extra free one, but he used one in the bar fight last time, so he's almost done with his free lay on hands. Yep. And I don't have that at all. You don't have that at all because you were still That's in jail. Like, I mean, no, show. You mm, were still. Mm. I was otherwise disposed. You were visiting <laughs> your parents. That's right. They're still alive. Um, <laughs> yes. Detect <right>. evil. <laughs> oh, he's not evil. He's not evil. I've, I've heard, heard that, that said a lot, but no proof, really. Well, magic no. can prove it, I guess. So how long is the journey to the... couple days. Okay. Don't worry about it. Depends on how the winds fare. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's very <laughs> reassuring. <laughs> language from the captain it's of true. the ship. We're not, on the, we're, we're not part of the crew. The only one happy... So many questions. The only one happy about it is Mr. Peepers, like being on the, really? on the boat. Really? Totally. Nick, oh, Nick yeah. Sox finds the, finds the darkest, driest part of the ship, relatively speaking, and hides there for the entire trip. Well, we'll see. Because after <laughs> a day, you... um. It's pretty boring, and the captain comes over and says, Who would like to play a game of high tide? An old pirate gambling game. And she pulls out a deck of cards, and she looks at you all. Oh, Mr. Beavers is there. Um, I'm definitely in on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Steal no. the cards. Steal the cards. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, I have you... seen men reduced to nothing from addictions to gambling and chance. No, Vorteris will have none of it. No, cannot. Cannot. Now, now was going to think about it, but she's going to let the other guys go first and kind of see what the game is first. All right. Just... Nick Knox is so profoundly uninvolved. I'm taking a bio break. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Um, so she's around, so I'm putting Mr. Peepers and Thorgrim near her. And she goes on to explain that it's a pirate gambling game where the cards are passed face down while players try to lie about what cards they've added to the tide. You can use a games lore check or a gambling check, or if you want to win fairly, or you can use a thievery check to try to mm. cheat and hide cards up your sleeve. You won't get, um, you won't get, um, infamy, uh, infamy points. So okay. Don't worry now that. that's all <laughs> no I needed to point. hear. <laughs> and, uh, or a deception check to bluff thinking you have better cards. So there's three rounds in total. People can come in, in and out during the rounds. And it's just a simple DC roll to see. It's uh, you just for this is the simple game. Now, this is something we're going to have the guests that are watching the stream decide if you want to help out or <laughs> hurt Mr. Peepers or help out or hurt Thorgrim before they do their roles. So really simple. Just type in the stream, say, help Mr. Peepers or hurt Mr. Peepers, or help Thorgrim or hurt Thorgrim. That's it. <laughs> I want to filibuster for my cause. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm, very, I'm very bad at gambling, so I'm going to need a lot of help. Oh, oh, wow. for the, help. oh the chat oh, is like coming through. Chat. Oh, oh, here comes the help. I'm very <laughs> bad at gambling. What's the, house, no... what's the bet limit? And I never cheat. So, What's the bet limit? What's the house rake? Uh, what What are we talking? Oh, man. It just, oh. What's the action coming my way, Captain? Uh, well, at this point, they're only going to be paying. You're just betting like uh, just coppers. You know, ah, so coppers! Oh my god! It's it's a warm up game until you coppers get are game. valuable currency. Don't waste coppers. Come she's on. gonna let you. She's gonna let you win the easy game and then clean you out on the on the hard. I want game. high stakes. Don't say that. Don't say. I'm gonna win a half. <laughs> I've noticed that the more we talk, the more the chat's like hurt them, hurt them all. It's more so like help, you help, 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 it's getting pretty close. <laughs> so I've, I've, oh, decided, I've decided to unity. pass for power. Actually. Oh, pass for power. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing <laughs> so, so hard at the game. phrase, oh my God. hurt Mr. Peepers, but that's really funny to me. So mean, so mean, so mean to time. Mr. Peepers. He, Mr. Peepers has had a rough life. He's, yeah, he's going no, to no, Nobody it. has to hurt Mr. Peepers. Mr. Yeah. Peepers can take care of that job all <laughs> yeah. by himself. Just yeah, give him time. pretty much. You, you haven't seen me in action, really. Uh, what's the max bet? Uh, yeah. you, you if okay, since we're uh, I will say you can put down up to one silver for round one. Oh, one silver, yeah, nice and round. I mean, money. You guys don't have it. Is. I, know. That, I was, I was gonna bet 40 me. gold for the first bet. I mean, yeah. this is don't worry, we got the next game. The next game, one silver five. is two weeks' grip. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. Sorry. it's a lot less if you gamble it away, though. So yeah. next for... next Ox does have a ton of cash. That's it, like, true. If, if, anybody, if anybody wants to do a thing where they find him and kind of convince him, will you stake us? Will you <laughs> I know you're saving for a rainy day. There, exactly. You save for a rainy day. We could we could do a whole back and forth. If like if you get a good bet, you could go do a whole back and forth where we're like uh, we'll be at the beginning of lock, stock, and two smoking barrels while I phony up all the money. I have a high intimidate. I could muscle you someone, out of your mouth. Someone someone in the chat had an interesting question. Or suggestion that Mr. Peeper should get a tattoo if he loses a new tattoo, like a from a sailor, like a like yeah. a Viking well, sailor tattoo. Mr. Peepers, why don't you tell the story, Mr. Peepers, of how you got your first tattoo of Belmarius on your arm? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I can't remember it. Uh, I was. Boy, I I, I don't re was that. What I remember it very well. I, I it, like, like it was yesterday. I know, I know I went. Oh, I was trying to break into uh, an inn, and there was a curfew, and the guards just 
hauled me away, and somehow I just said yes to the the prison tattoo. I think the attraction was. Well, we've genuine, all been there, Mister. It was Peepers. a genuine. Yeah. Uh, you know, look, you're in prison. It's either voluntary or it's going to be forced. So you might as well go voluntary. I so uh, he went for the uh, prison tap. So say we all. And if you're going to go for a prison tap, Kratat, you might as well go for the best looking rune lord of them all. <laughs> Probably one of the most evil, that's for sure. <sighs> so, um, okay. It looks like they're kind of. It's almost even between hurt and help both of them. So I don't know. I need a little. Well, bit I'll take a going. hurt. You know what? That's all right. I'll take a hurt because uh, wow. Thorgrim is going to need a, a help. Mr. Okay, Peepers, wait, wait, am, I, am, I betting, am I betting against Mr. Peepers? Or You're all betting in a pot to see who wins. Uh, oh, okay. oh, okay. One so. person wins the pot. So all right. Well, it's, it's all one silver. All thrown in one silver. So you can do games, lore, thievery check, or deception. Games lore would just be a base int check if you don't have it, and um, it's going to be thievery. Or I don't have any of that. Or, uh, <laughs> so what die are we rolling? Then just roll roll your deception. You have deception. I do. Do I? Everyone has deception. Even if it's untrained, you'll have it. Can I roll now? Go right ahead. All right, here's my thievery, thievery roll. Boy, it's not easy to say for some reason. Thievery roll. So he gets the card. Mr. Peeper sneaks it under, trying to cheat, pulling out some cards from his sleeve, rolling in 19. And uh, I'm going to say give that a uh, 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 another roll. Roll again. Roll again. Really? That doesn't do it? Oh, my yeah, God. Just roll again. Just roll again. You're being hurt. You're being hurt. So we're going to see what happens. 25! Oh, my God! Middling. Middling for Mr. Peepers. He, wow. He's done this before. He, yeah, you uh, you take the lesser of the two, which is the 19. So Mr. Peepers, uh, you do great. Wow. You fully, oh, I take uh, the lesser of the two? Oh, that's where, they're, that's where the hurting comes from. Oh, God. Wow. All right. Oh, All right. God. <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, you know what? More people said help Thorgrim. So Thorgrim, you get to roll he twice and take the better. All right, all right. All right. I, I have an right. advantage. You, right, need it. you need that. I get to enjoy him losing twice now. Deception 12. Ooh. You rolled a one. <laughs> you rolled a <laughs> That's sad. So I don't even yeah, want to. I don't want to roll I'm so glad just, he gets to roll this again. This is, I mean, is deception, much fun. Is deception cheating? Because I don't really want to use that one. Oh, no, sorry. You rolled an 11. You rolled an 11, actually. it's uh, You have a plus one on your deception. I have plus one, yeah. Well, what's your int? Well, it's more like it? bluffing, too, and that's not really cheating. Yeah, you're, you're, no, 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 no. no, cheating is what Mr. Peepers did. He right. was cheating. <laughs> yeah. I, my int is, is, is 10. So, yeah. So, your deception's better. You can still win. You just have All to right, let's roll try another one. 19 or 20. Go right ahead. You get one more roll because he needs the help. And he rolls 16. Awfully Ooh, close. Close, but no cigar. No cigar. Well, it, you flip over the cards. And uh, the captain's was the lowest. Thorgrim's was the next highest. But Mr. Peepers is the winner. Big what? chicken dinner. Did I win? I don't even know how this works. And I still <laughs> win. Wow. Cool. I look for a card up his sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done, Mr. Yeah, okay, uh, Mr. Peepers. Okay, well, round two is going. Round two. Uh, once again, who, oops, sorry. Who wants to help? Or hurt Mr. Peepers or Thorgrim. Does anyone else wish to enter the betting? Nick, I Snow? know. I want you help. Have now. Rather I want large, help. Now. You want a large purse. I see it's jingling and jangling on your belt bucket. Mr. Nick Snox, you have quite a bit of coin, don't you? What's, mm -hmm. what's the max? He only, he only has gold, though. He's, he only deals with gold and above. Well, wow. That's quite a goblin. Yes. Well, he will. They will make the, uh, they will make the bet worth your while if you want. Nick Knox, you can bring it up to a gold. Uh, well, I'm I'm currently like in the in the darkest, driest place on the boat, so I I, I don't know how much of this I'm actually hearing. Eh, of course, you're gonna hear it. You'll hear it. Okay, so so it draws my attention. I, I get yeah. roused. I get you roused by all the activity. Papers. It's activity okay. topside. Yeah, all so, hands on so, deck. So, so I sneak through the shadows and I'm I'm I'm, I'm peering over and I'm I'm seeing the I'm seeing all of the activity. 
since we're uh, only talking about a silver, I'm willing to jump in. So, ooh, well, now we're going up to a gold because, uh, ooh, well, if they then, the, then I'm jumping out. <laughs> oh, I'm not a gold. Right, so I, I, I'm, not good at any of the, I'm not good at any of the skills involved. Mm, that's okay, true. so I, I sidle up to uh, Voltaris and I express my interest in the game. That's Master Voltaris, what is this game that they're playing? Could you explain it to me? My ears are old and clipped in many places. Could you repeat the honorific that you started that sentence with? Master Voltaris. Yes. What is your question? My what friend? is this game that they're playing? It is intriguing. It is a bluffing game. One pretends that they have certain cards, or maybe they do have the cards, and everyone throws their money in the center, as if throwing it into a puddle, and one person gets to take it all away, and the others are just left with the feeling that they threw their money in a puddle. Do not waste your money, young knickknacks. You have put it together. That is the foundation of your fame. It is a waste, and more than that, it is a dangerous vice. I will heed your wise words, Master. It's less fun for the stream, it. but I'm telling you, <laughs> don't participate in this foolishness. Okay, I I, I hang out by uh, Voltaris and I observe the uh, next round of the game. Okay, in that case, she looks over at uh, Nella and she's like, "Come join us, Nella. It's only two silver this time." Oh, all right. As Eric said, it's more fun for the stream. Yes. Watch, watch yes. him. Watch what happens, Nick Snox. He yeah. will soon be bereft of her cash. <laughs> so, Seriously, you're gonna you're gonna dunk on me for that? Wow. No, I'm quietly <laughs> talking to the goblin. First of all, eavesdropping is not appreciated. Ooh. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, but uh, yes, yes, yes. And I'm not dunking. I don't even play basketball. Not for years and years. <laughs> So well, um, I feel lucky this time. Well, it looks like a lot of people want to help help, help Nella. A lot of people want to help Thorgrim, but nobody wants to help Mr. Peepers. Mr. <laughs> Peepers is a bit of a, a cheat. He's a bit of a yeah. Uh, what, what? Well, I'm playing with winning. He's now, shooting an so. angle. He's an angle it, shooter. I I, made, I just made two silver, and so now I'm playing with winnings. It's a two That's silver right. bet, right? Two okay, double or nothing. Right. I'm in. Nothing. Everyone's in. I think I think the term we're looking for is cheetah. Cheetah. Okay, uh, Mr. Peepers, you're up first. I presume you're trying to cheat again. Oh, yes. Uh, thievery. Is there a, a, a nice way to do thievery? I don't think there sure. is. Sure. You did it the nice way. You won. That was the nice way. That was pretty nice. Okay, here, here's my <laughs> first roll. Hopefully not my lowest. Here we go. Ooh, a 10. A 10, 10. Is not I, good. Wait a minute. That can't be, that can't be right. Can. Two plus eight. You got a two. You rolled a I'm two. A, you I have it. a plus 10 for thievery. No, you don't. You have a plus eight. Plus eight. Don't try to cheat. You're level two. I don't even know if it's possible for you to get a plus No, eight. no, no, no. Yeah. I No, there's a, uh, the icon for thievery is the same. Uh, I'm just looking at the interface. Okay. It has plus eight for thievery. Yes. Yep, you're right. Plus eight. You're correct. Next up, roll again. Let's see. Here we go. I think they call this disadvantage in another universe, but for now, we'll just call it bad luck. I've never even heard of it before. Here we go. Well, I probably can't get much lower. 11. You tried, though. <laughs> you tried. You got a 10. Um, you are totally fumbling cards and they're like dropping on the floor and no one's paying attention. Feel it no from way. the bottom and everyone yeah. can see. <laughs> you can hear the snap, the distinctive yeah. snap. Or I, say, I say, yeah. I turn to, to yeah, Nick Knox and, and Vorteris and say, all right, gentlemen, watch how it's done. Watch and learn how a dwarf gambles to victory. Nick Knox, it might be the same way that they investigate a delicate chest filling. Oh! Glass. oh. <laughs> 18! 18! Mm. Ooh, oh, Thorgrim. Could That's be better. Pretty good. pretty good. You get to roll again? Yeah, though. let's do it again. Well, good thing you got some six. Good thing you got the first <laughs> one. Yes. Well, Thorgrim's at an 18. And last but not least, Nella. Pocket aces. Poor yeah, little good. Nella. Let's see what she can do. Again, you can do um, thievery or deception. I mean, you probably don't have a huge hint, so either one is 
on the deception to say, oh, oh dear. No, critical failure. <laughs> you do get another roll. So you drop a silver over the side. No, I'm going to tell you, well, we'll see what happens if, depending on what you roll next. Oh my God. You're all three. <laughs> wow. Wow. I have a four. Oh, now, wow. this is what happens. Nella takes the cards and a sudden large gust of wind goes and her cards go flying off into the sea. Um, Mr. Peepers also is like, yes, my cards too went off into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Thorgrim, Thorgrim uh, easily wins the round and gets all four, actually, no, eight silver. Eight silver, eight which silver. he palms and immediately walks over to these two. <laughs> and starts jingling it in their face. They're like, look, ha, 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 that's a lie, I won. And, and with that, the captain just looks sternly at Nella and says, you know, that was my last full deck of cards. No matter. We'll move on to the real game. And with that, she pulls out the dice. And she says, we are going to play Cascade. And she like jingles the dice. She says, this one is easy as can be. Anyone can do it. All you do is roll a 2d6, or better known as two six-sided dice. You can bet up to five gold. Wow, you, five gold. Yes. If you roll a seven or a 12, you win. If you bet roll anything else, you lose. Wait, a seven or a 12? Wait, yes. That can't be right. Yes, a seven or a 12. If you roll seven or a 12, you win. You roll anything else and you lose. And wow, there's one extra thing. After you roll, you can roll an additional 1d6 for doubling your bet. So if you roll <laughs> real low and you feel you might be able to make a little bit of money, you can throw another die just for fun. And most importantly, when you roll the dice, you have to go cascade and like throw them to see what happens. It's called cascade because that's what happens to your money. You keep losing it in a large cascade. Yes. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about no. that. No, no, <laughs> Wait. So we, who? How do we? Who are we betting against? You are just betting against the house. Uh, eventually, what will end up happening is that you just put the money in and. If you lose, it can go to the next person who will actually roll and then get the pot. So is it the first person who rolls a seven? No, everyone has to put in the same amount. It's kind of like poker. So as she looks around. She says, why don't we start off easy? We'll just do one silver just so you can get the hang of it. Well, it yes. doesn't make any sense because like the odds of rolling a seven are pretty low. I mean... That's well, really someone's got to roll it eventually. So it's the first person who rolls a seven. It's that's not right. just or a twelve. Oh, gotcha. 12. Okay. 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 So there's a that's a totally different game. Okay, I'm in for five gold. Well, you want to go first though, too. That's another thing. Well, we're going to roll off the two of those first. Luther is pressed into servitude and stays on the ship. I will not be Surprise. participating. <laughs> this is corrosive to the soul. It leads this to far worse things than eight silver pieces are worth. Take it from me. All right. So there's no audience participation or interference uh, on this. Is that correct? Not the first round. <laughs> <laughs> not the first round how, right, dare you, how dare you call it interference oh I, um, um well I, we'll do one silver just so everyone gets to hang in the game okay sure sure why not yeah um, one Nella, one. Okay, Thorgrim, sure. mr peepers nix knox Volteris, everyone yes we're gonna get them all come on gang all, all right, right so how do we do this how, how do we get this going first everyone everyone's who's playing nella Thorgrim, mr peepers well, if I'm going to bow to peer pressure here, but I will slowly take 10 copper pieces out of my old man pouch. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, when? A two? I'm looking at the years on them to make sure I don't give away any of the good ones. <laughs> oh, that's a <laughs> <super>. <laughs> I, I am not falling for it this time. 
I'm not. Oh, you're not playing? playing? No, no, I'm not, not. Not falling for the trick of paying his way this time. I said, oh, uh, 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 you, you, last time you I sure you don't want to yes. throw in an IOU yeah. or a, a, I, I, a I marker? Came up, I came up positive on the last adventure because of that. That was good. Yeah, That's no, right. No, I think no copper allowed. Silver only. Oh, now he can do whatever he wants. Copper. If I win, I don't want copper. Dirty the pot with that. Was everyone in? Who wants to be in? So if everyone roll a d20 first. Seven. We're gonna do that in terms of you know what. I'm going to do something else. Nine. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Are you ready? Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, the sound didn't go. Uh, I guess I'm... it started. <laughs> roll for oh, initiative. combat. Oh, initiative. Yeah, yeah, we're doing the roll for combat sound, but it didn't go off. Yeesh, man. I think it's usual. So I roll 2d6 to start? Uh, Yeah, hold on a second. So Nella goes first. So you roll two d6. And if you roll an 11, sorry, if you roll a 7 or a 12, you will win. Wah, wah. And you roll a Close. 6. Well, you can double your bet and roll one extra d6. What when do you have to shout out Cascade? Oh, oh sorry, yeah, I forgot to shout out Cascade. Cascade. Hey, you forgot about that. Sorry. Cascade. Uh, Cascade. Are you going to double your bet? Yeah, I'm going to double my bet. Ooh, Nella going for the big money. Okay. You roll a 1D, 1D well, 6. Well, so, so if, if Nella rolls a 1 or a 6, yeah. then she wins. Right? That's correct. Cascade. What does she roll? Oh, 5. Uh, wah, wah. Double the bet. Keep it going. Keep it going. No, no, she's done. If this universe had civilized craps, I would have won. But <laughs> exactly. Well, now the captain goes. She rolls a three, and she's like, "You can go, Mister Peepers. I have a feeling your luck is about to change." Yeah, so how much is in the pot now? I want to know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six silver. Well, five silver and ten copper. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There you, go. you forgot Cascade. Oh, I forgot it too. You roll a six. Oh, Cascade. Yeah. Oh, you're so Cascade. close. Cascade. So close. Do you want to double your roll, double it, and to put in a one d six? Sure, sure. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm rolling, uh, again, two d six. No, one d six. A one d six. Okay. So it's this plus my previous roll. Right. So yep. I want a one. Yep. You want a one. Cascade! But you win. That's 12. 7 or 12, you win. Cascade! Oh my god. I didn't even get a chance to roll. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is so easy. This is a lot of fun. (laughs) Thorgrim Thorgrim takes the dice and examines them very closely. I didn't even realize I won. And I won more. He looks to make sure they're not weighted or. Well, he, he says there's there is she's like, well, there is the baby's way to play, if you wish, and where everyone gets to roll one round and then the pot is split amongst the winners. If you're gonna if you're gonna complain about it, dwarf, we can No no no, that's quite all right. That's, I leave it to chance. That's that, that okay. is, that's, 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 the, that's my way. That's oh. cool. I didn't even get to roll. I know. Well, oh, why that, don't was we good, that, that, that was a good that was a good use of my <laughs> hard earned <laughs> Ten copper pieces. Aren't you glad we talked you into this? <laughs> well, I'm yeah, still up. <laughs> yeah, I'm still that up. Hard. That's the break. So you were play cascade, but I'll tell you what, we could play again. How about for one gold each? I'm in. I am I'm in. in. No, I really, I really want to go first though. <laughs> This is foolish. Sure, I should never have wasted in. my 10 <laughs> copper. Oh, what? Oh, come on. What's worth of copper? We can have 100, 100 copper pieces. 100 copper? People oh today yeah. do not appreciate the value of even a single copper. Uh, long ago, the copper was worth as much as a silver. Oh, I can't. <laughs> so I can't survive it. With this, though, she looks at you, the captain, and says, You know what, old man? Uh, I'll stake you for this game since you don't seem to have much life left on this planet. 
So <laughs> very well. <laughs> wow. I agree. I know it's. I'm 85 years old. I have seven oh. fingers, and between them, one ear. I will yeah. not last long. I must make the most of my time, yeah, and if that's... that means making the most of my time on your dime, I'm willing to do it. Yes. 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 Ec yes. You know, it's part of my personal credence to help the elderly and have them enjoy the last few years of their life. <laughs> so yes. I gladly will stake you. I even have, she pulls that out, I will even let you double your bet. You say oh, years, it could be days at this that point. That is though. so, <laughs> no, I think I, the way I measure it, it is one year till I can harness the power of a fireball. True, and but it's three two days. years <laughs> after that before I shall be able to raise an army of the dead. Uh, an army of allies <laughs> who will help me to do what I uh, do. And then within, mm. if I can make it to 10 years, let us just say, my friends, well, if yes. I can make it 10 years, I shall make it another 100 of this, I guarantee you. <laughs> as long as the Kraken and the Sharks don't teach you first. Yes, so we have, we have Mr. Peepers is in, Thorgrim's in. Well, Taris oh, is Taris, in. the impatient, is waiting. Nella, Nella's going to come in because I'm in. The, did we just did we just find out that at level twenty we're going to be facing the lich version of Lord Taris? Oh <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> we did find that out. Oh no, that's why I, I like to ask a lot of questions. No. So everyone, Nick Sox is just loving for Taris talking like this because it reminds him so much of his of the wizard master who created him. Yes, yes. <laughs> I can so, get used to being called master. Who wants to help? Or hurt anyone. Not the captain. Not the captain. Help, Vorteris. I'm an old man. I need all the assistance that I can muster from any he's, quarter. He's playing with house money. Don't help him. Help. help <laughs> no, help, that's all help, the more Thargram, reason. Thargram, Thargram help, Vorteris. Help us. <laughs> Vote Join. Thargram. Help Thargram loves my and can destiny. appreciate the value of, of Queen. Together, you and I, chat, will forge our names in the Pathfinder Chronicles. <laughs> yes, if you help me. But only if you help. All right, come on. You can help or hurt Nella, Volteris, Thorgrim, or Mr. Peepers. Let's see. We don't have a lot right now. Let's we see. We have, cheat, right? We have, there's, there's, we're just rolling. This is just flat this out is odds. Just flat right? out odds, man. Oh. Just so. So how man. does it work? That's that's weird. What do you mean? There's math. You know, you know the math. It's not that hard. Like, how? All right, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Says Volteris. I mean, the impatient. <laughs> If you roll a nine, then it's it's fifty fifty that you can more right. or less. The, 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 yeah, math is, the math is interesting. Uh, let's see now. Cascade <laughs> <laughs> math be damned. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let's see who rolls first. That's or, very, oh, yeah. that's yeah, very yeah, important. That's, that's like the big part of it. So let's see. Mr. Peepers is going to be helped. Or hurt. Let's see. Uh, a lot of people want to help Mr. Peepers. A lot of people want to help both parents. Time. Everyone. Everyone wants Mr. Voltaris. And you know what? She's going to sit out for this one. She's like, I'll have Mr. Voltaris play for myself. Yes. I'd but I keep him winning. have the fun. Yes. So I'm I will just officiate. So it's only you four. Yes. Sit around not, and stare not, at each other. I'm not being hypocritical for playing yeah. this game. <laughs> well, oh, one person helped Thorgrim, so everyone's going to get help. Excellent. You know what that means, though? I don't know if anyone's going to get help because if everyone wins, then no one wins. It's an even, even battle. I mean, it's your game if that's how it's you want to do ground. it. It's fine. It's fine. Roll I'm last again. Oh my god. Mr. Peoples is I up. Don't, how do I get through, past that? I don't like the extra Okay, die. so let's see. <laughs> this is for a gold. Uh, Cascade! No, 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 it's for one gold. Cascade, Mr. Peoples. Oh, he wins oh, 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 right away! Did I win again? Oh my oh, god! My this Peepers. is so oh, easy! There's so many better games in this. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Peoples. This game oh, is terrible. God. I am glad that you are on my team and you are one of my allies <laughs> because her money will be fine in your pocket. The odds are so bad for doing, doing that. The odds I are beat not Mr. Bad. Peepers with my stick. For 12 or 7, like 7's like 17. Seven, seven's the most commonly rolled number and then yeah. 
But that's if like you roll any, percent. yeah. But if you roll a nine or higher, like any any number that you can roll, add plus one to six to get it to twelve is pretty good too. Like yeah. a ten, the ten is really good. Eleven yeah. is really good. Eleven is, an, is a win off the of action. Lots of oh, complaining well. from someone who is three gold richer than he was. Like an eleven is better than a twelve because eleven you can double your bet and automatically win. She, she looks at Joel and says, we might want to play the child version, as it looks like no one else is getting to go. Well, everyone will get to roll this time. How about that? How about we just try it for, for fun? Just just to see. You never know. Yes, uh, I will try it, but else... not for fun. I, I'm down now, so no, I no, say no, no. two everyone gold else each. Will, will <laughs> gold. Everyone will two gold, gold each, says me. Uh, oh, you want to do two Is, it, is it the third yeah, round? It's... Uh, this is the third one. Well, the third game. You guys, the game's been going very quickly. So uh, two gold each, two gold each, and uh, you have you you have enough. So everyone throw in two gold. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And this yes. time, everyone will get to go, no Excellent. matter what. Roll All right. Oh, look at Let's that. This is the first. Again. <laughs> first. <laughs> That's three yeah. times in a row. I'm last. Mister Peepers. Are you good? God. I'm losing. All right, here's God, us, sir. Here. Good God. I'm yes, losing it like. <laughs> Dude, did I just roll a seven? Did you roll? I didn't see your roll. I don't see through. a roll. Yeah. I don't see a roll. You got to roll again. No, Wait a minute. On my screen, it says seven. It's I a six plus you. one equals seven. Well, roll again. So let's I see. I don't see it. No, yeah, we don't see it. that. Come on, stop cheating. Uh, I'm getting a message that your connection to the server has been interrupted. Yeah, your connection to the server, server has problem. been interrupted? Oh, oh you oh. got to be kidding me! I had a seven! My nope. sir! <sighs> your oh. internet, the internet gods took that away. All right, All right hold on. Reach out. Hold on, hold on. Reloading. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Oh, roll 20. Issues in the battlefront. Hold on. Here we go. Coming back. All right, while that's going on, I'm strongly considering playing a prank on Mr. Peepers. I wonder, I wonder what the chat says about that. The chat would probably like that idea. I think probably, the chat will probably like it because it uh, looks like uh, Roll20, of course, is down. Cause... Oh, yeah. That's about all. That's the only way you're going to get Mr. Peepers. He's a... God, I rolled a 6 plus 1 equals 7 0. Oh, God. Oh, it came back. It came back. <clears throat> I hope it. Oh. It's slowly coming back, slowly, slowly. Right after Nella Initiative, Modern nope. Fire 22. Nope. Is, nope. Oh, God. The that's internet sad. gods caused you to not win. That's I'm sorry. Sad. The internet decided that you shall not win. The yeah. internet gave you Pretty much, yeah. bad luck. Yeah, but, yeah they hurt me. The internet voted to hurt me, basically. That's what happened. You're, all, you're already up a lot, though. Well, oh, here we are. The, the internet voted to hurt Mr. Peepaz. All right, so I'm going to prank him. So here's my prank. You do that, okay. Uh, I have the spell Prestidigitation that normally has a 10-foot range. However, I have Extend Spell, which adds 30 foot to the range, so I actually have a 40-foot range. So from 40 feet away, I'm going to use Prestidigitation to, when he makes the roll, uh, have a crudely made bad fake die fall out of his uh, sh <laughs> sleeve when he rolls the die to make it look like he's cheating. <laughs> to make it look like I'm cheating. Oh, how dare you? How dare Aren't you? Are we friends? <laughs> well, um, well, shoot. Uh, so is it still down for you guys? No, it's back up. Oh, should I roll? Uh, try. I mean, I do see another message, okay. but who knows? We'll just try. Let's see what happens. Cascade number three, and it didn't happen. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. If, oh, man. This is the first time this has ever happened. What I great know. timing. What you got cheated timing? out of that seven, too. I think I'm, the more it goes on, the more I'm starting to believe that you actually did roll a seven. No, no. Yeah. I'm trying. No chance. Here, here. Wait a minute. Let's see. It says, <clears throat> let's see if there's some issue. Hmm. Well, let me hey, that, uh, some numbers. Yeah, he really oh my there. God, John, you really did roll yeah, a seven. Okay, they're 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 coming back. Oh, oh yeah, it's coming, coming in. in. Oh, they're coming back. Mr. Peepers wins. Oh, well, he won one. Uh, this is this is the baby. Oh wow, version. this is the baby version. So, Mr. Okay. Peepers actually did win in the first cascade again. 
But well, he's a natural. Around. The order doesn't matter. So have a right, Nella. Right, Nella right, goes, else so, but is the is the is the prank actually going to happen? Do we want to do the prank? Oh right, I forgot about your prank. So your prank is an extra die falls out of his sleeve. So he rolls a seven, and then he rolls uh, a four. We'll have that first die. So that is actually an eleven. So he looks like he rolls. Wait a, a minute, Mister Peepers, uh, you can't be cheating at this game. You can't so, be so, cheating so, your friend. So it looks like he palmed. It looks like he palmed a die. You palmed an eye. Uh, oh, so oh, I don't know where that die came from. Right, you can't be cheating. I think that your roll is null and void. You need to start fresh. Uh, yeah, I think you do have to start fresh. That looked a little fishy. Yeah, that's a little over. fishy. I mean, I know you're sneaky. Mr. You know. Peepers, I, I know you're a sneaky thief type, but you really shouldn't cheat your friends because you'll end up over the edge into the water feeding the fish, if you know what I mean. And and also, I don't mean to be a stickler for detail, but you must shout cascade when you roll the die. Cascade! <laughs> That's right. So exactly. try, try again, Mr. Peepers. Try again. Cascade! All right. Cascade! Uh, I'm the only one rolling. Oh, a four. A four? A cascade! You didn't say cascade. Oh, yeah. Cascade. Oh, well, that yeah. one didn't count. That one didn't count either. <laughs> <laughs> that one counts. So, what do you get? You roll. A, you can roll an extra one d six if you want to. If you why would he add. do that? I don't know. I I, I well, if he rolls I, a six, that's a ten. That's still a loss. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. If he rolls a one d, he, he rolls roll a one. A, oh, oh that's true. He can roll three. three. You can get a seven. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll pass. I, I don't like this this version where everybody rolls anyway. So go ahead. Oh, uh, so you won, but you lost because Mr. Peepers is a winner takes it all sort of a winner. Nella yeah. goes next. At least let Nella give it a try. It could be a winner takes it all. If no one else wins. Nella Nella's had nothing but bad luck. The cards went flying over the edge. She doesn't been able to do anything. Go Nella, go two d six. Here Count goes Nella. got a. <laughs> Oh, four. Well, you can double your bet and roll one d six. Can do it. You Unlike papers, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. How much are we betting this time? One. Yeah. Okay. Cascade, cascade part two. You did it! You yes. rolled a three. You win. <laughs> wow! You win. Unbelievable. I'll see if you can split the pot with anyone, and oh then and then Voltaris goes. But you know what? The dwarf comes over to you, and she says. For good luck, and she gives you a little peck on the cheek, Mister Bob. Oh, 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 well, <laughs> you be careful. Uh, it's been a long time. Um, all right. Ah. Uh, so I roll two d six. Two d six. Don't get too excited. Fantastic! Oh my oh, god! 11. Another. <laughs> no, he just need to roll twelve. So it's a definite double, I guess. Right? Uh, Did yeah, that yeah. kiss on the cheek do anything uh, uh, for me? Uh, uh, let's see. I'll roll to see what happens. No, it doesn't do anything. All you right. Can roll an extra d6 if you want. Oh, sure. Oh, it's her well, money, right? Her money. Or, sure. Okay, let's do it. It's an automatic it. win, too. Well, no, she has to roll a one. If he rolls a one, it's on. Oh, I thought it was 12 yeah. or above. No, 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 no. It's uh, seven or 12. Uh, seven so four. I just roll one d6 now. One d6, right. Oh, oh my God. I did it! He rolls oh a one. Yes, I won. I won. I did nothing before my efforts, and I won. This wow. could be habit forming. Yeah. You're totally triggering oh. uh, Vortaris. No. To... I fling myself, <laughs> <up. I laughs> myself over the side. <laughs> well, Thorgrim, you finally get to go. You've been oh in all God. the games, and you've never been able to do I've anything. I've never rolled once in this game. I turned myself into a fish and swim a few <laughs> angry laps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thorgrim, roll them dice, roll them bones. All right, I say palm love. I mean, cascade. We got I rolled. I rolled. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The internet gods have struck again. Let's try again. <laughs> try again. Or maybe you have to ref. Are you seeing the? Yeah, I, I'm still. Mr. Peepers and Vorteris are able to move around. Yeah. All right, let me refresh. Yeah, refresh your, your screen. Ha! 
<laughs> Everyone's just think, dancing around. I know. I think I'll be up Pizocon, here, be up here redo, recreating the Titanic pose. <laughs> I think Pizocon has broken Discord and Roll20 and parts of the internet this weekend because there's no, I've I'm never gonna, seen this many issues. I'm gonna roll I, I rolled again. It's not happens. working at all. I'm going to roll a stealth check just to see if it, if I do anything. Well, here, yeah, just move nothing. yourself around to see if it comes up. Hmm, that's weird. I'll, I'll roll for you. How about that? Uh, let me try again. Okay. I'll let you do. There's little <laughs> buttons on the bottom, right? The 2D. Nick Snox is yep. sneaking around. Yeah. I used up a natural 20 on that fake stealth, too. Yeah, you did. Well, no one knows where he is. They're like, oh, oh where did he come from? Up, oh, I heard a die roll. Because Chris Thorgrim rolls a six. You didn't mm. say Cascade. You said Palmolive, but close enough. Oh, well, if you roll a one, you split the pot or a three. Six. One or a six. Or a six. Or a six. That's pretty good odds. No, that's terrible odds. <laughs> that's but pretty good odds. Well, it's not, it's this not might good be the last odds. round. This might be it. All right, I'll but try for it. Go all for or it. nothing. All or nothing. Cascade. Cascade. Give me a one. One time. One time. I rolled. Oh, and it didn't happen. It doesn't happen. It's so suspenseful. I know. It is suspenseful. Oh, there we go. Oh, I hear the die roll. Here we Oh, four. He oh, you get a plus one, you it. dope. <laughs> so so a, uh, you roll a three. Oh, three so doesn't work either. A nine. Thorgrim <laughs> and Mr. Cooper's News. And Volteris and Nella are the big winners. And Volteris gets all the gold. And it's glistening in his hands. <gasps> and it's just shiny. And I think his eyes get wide and he can't stop staring at it as he remembers all those years where he was entrapped in the gambler's fallacy thinking he could always win one more roll one more die one more try i can do it i can do it (laughs) yes the old volteris is back oh no no Uh, he just subtly (laughs) puts the coins in his pouch and just starts whistling and looking the other way it's and, easy uh, for him to whistle because he's missing so many teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, as you're gambling away, you don't even notice that you have been sailing into some pretty thick mist. And suddenly a storm is rising around you. Oh, no. Quickly, the captain says, two posts, two posts. No, ah, do we know where our post is? Uh, we have no post. Yeah, we our our no post, post is to get out of the way for the. My crew. post is to hold on That's to the mast it. for dear life. Uh, yeah, I love this animation. Peepers is going to the head. So, so the so, moving yeah. fog is kind of slick. <laughs> yeah, I love so, the animation. So, uh, yeah, so you are. Um, let's see. So you are on the ship. And uh, the other deckhands are tying some things down. They run underneath to take care of any leaks or other issues and to move around ballast to keep the ship upright. And she looks at the PCs and each of you and says, Help! Can you help me uh, batter down the ship in this strong storm? And uh, she's like, looks at all four, five of you and says, please, please, please help. Please help. Any of you who are strong with uh, athletics. Uh, yes, I, I will help. I stay down course, but, some of the uh, equipment. This infernal contraption. Let's, uh, or, I'll do it. Yes, tell, me what, uh, tell me what to do. Tell me what or, rope to pull. Oh, yes. And any of you with acrobatics can help secure ropes on the side of the ships without Lines. falling uh, overboard. Is anyone uh, good at athletics and uh, acrobatics? Uh, Peepers is yes. good at uh, acrobatics, so he will help you with the lines. They're not called ropes. They're called lines on a ship. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, well, uh, uh, screw you, Mr. Peepers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Would- would warfare lore encompass knowing what to do on a ship in an emergency? I'll let you do it. I mean, if you got something you want to throw, those are the best ones by far. The DCs are just going to be much higher if you want to try to do something that's not covered with those two. All right. Well, I want. To, I'm searching my warfare lore uh, ship. You know, like ship uh, in distress. Mm-hmm. What's a, what? What is the smart thing to do? Mm-hmm. Leave the ship. <laughs> 
19, pretty good. Uh, yeah, you would know that you, Nick Snox, probably want to go downstairs and help with the ballast. You're so small that you will probably be swept away. So that is where your best use is nowhere near the surface, <laughs> the top side of the ship. I'm not especially good at either thing, but I'm slightly less not good at acrobatics. So I will try, I'll try to help. Okay. And finally, Volteris. What would I'll do it. Ah, this blustering wind and mist is dangerous. I will go below decks lest I be blown away. Okay, Internet. Do you want to help the storm or hurt the storm? Okay. We want, we're want we voting for the storm. If you help the storm, it's going to be way harder for these guys. And the storm's going to do some serious damage. And if you if you help, if you hurt the storm or help the players, you will, uh, you know, well, you're hurting the storm. Let's see, double seed. Help the storm, help the storm, help the storm. Well, that's what a surprise. Three gets, well, that's three gets zero so far. Stormageddon. Hurt the storm. Hurt the storm. I like Stormageddon. That's a good one. That might have to be the title. Sharknado. <laughs> Sharknado. Oh, I have Hurt the Storms. We have two Hurt the Storms and three help. Oh, uh, uh, no, that's, that's true. Right. We, would, we did not waste any copper coins throwing them into the ocean. <laughs> that's true. You did it. Yeah. Help the storm. I see votes for the Kraken. Up you see in the distance a large... No, that would be great. A <laughs> sea turtle. <laughs> it's it's just a dragon turtle. Kra kraken. Hurt, help, Kraken. Oh, a lot of Krakens. Haha. -ha. Let's see. Oh, we're, we're actually, let's see. Hurt is just a smidge more... Sorry, help is a smidge more than hurt. So... All right. All right, well, with Arsene, that, we'll take it. Let him go. <laughs> Arsene, let him go. Uh, yeah, that storm suddenly whips up a frenzy, and it's going even faster and worse than before, as if hundreds of people from the Internet voted to have it do this. Uh, go. Go, Gadget Rolls, whoever is going to help. All right, so crafting, repair kit, I'm doing emergency repairs as, the, as they happen. Okay. Boom, that 20. Holy crap. Nice. Well, Thorgrim rolls an 18 for a 26. Nella rolls a nat 20 with a plus zero. Who else is up there? Mr. Peepers rolls a 15, which is, which one are you trying to do? Acrobatics? Acrobatics. It's the uh, probably... Uh, Putting okay. these bills down. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Peepers almost falls off the side of the boat. With a, with a, so, oh, with a 15? Yeah, almost. Oh. <laughs> if you rolled lower, you would have oh, fallen geez. off the side of the boat. And Nick Snox oh. rolls a natural 20. What is going on? Where were these rolls in Cascade? Cascade. So, Hell yeah. Wow. During combat, even. <laughs> yeah, combat. Well, even with the extra vicious storm you managed to have wow that's a lot of successes <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> i'm like doing 19, the math 26, we're, we're, 20, get, 15, we're getting 20, them out of our system now <laughs> yeah, no kidding um you uh we kicked yeah. the storm's ass no, basically no yeah that's what we did no, no no everyone did great so i hate to say it the storm although the storm whips up a frenzy you managed to do your job like competent sailors. I don't know who these people are and what you did with the original members of the Black Lodge, but good job. Except, except, yeah, especially you, Volteris, who helped out downstairs complaining. Yes. Yes. It's my day. Yes. In fact, um, just for the sake of the argument, let's just say that I intimidated people into doing a better job. Oh, don't lift that. No, you've got it all wrong. <laughs> Lift with your back. <laughs> 14. You nagged us into success. Yeah. So, Steve, will we offering a T-shirt for the storm since everyone seems to like it so much? Yeah, we should. We should have a T-shirt for the storm and a T-shirt for the door that uh, Rob T's character has never managed to get through in any adventure path we've ever played. So those will be the two inanimate objects we do T-shirts for in the future. So, um... Okay, well let's let's delete the storm because you guys did so well. It's time to go back to 
the non-storm. Hey, look at that. It's back to normal. Aww. Like nothing happened. Your seagull Aww. together. Smoky. I know. I know. I know. The storm was cool. Uh, I was going to put on more animation, but I didn't want to tax the servers too much. And, How are Stan, uh, Jane, Patty, and Mike? <laughs> Stan, I didn't see them battening down. Shane and Mike, they were downstairs helping Nick Snox and taking orders from uh, Voteris because he's a he's a mean old man. I tell you, he might might like to think of it as experienced and insightful and free to give advice. If you call that mean, I call it charity. Charity, indeed. They they look at him with a, a little bit more trepidation as they uh, her ah, first look. hand. Uh, and That's anyhow, fine. she she looks around and she's like, "Oh, great job! We managed to save two crowbars, two spears, two lesser elixirs of healing, and two lesser antidotes. Excellent, excellent job! Feel free to." Uh, take these as uh, prizes for your your excellent hard work. And actually, she you saved crowbar, spears, elixirs, and antidotes. She's giving you two of each for free. Whoever wants to nice. Take oh, I'll take a crowbar definitely. No, I'll take an antidote. I mean, a precaution is uh, the measure of the day. Okay. Does anyone else take Wait, we could take two of each? No, or what? no, no, no. No, Mr. Greedy. No chaotic greedy. Oh, <laughs> two two. Wait, oh, did, uh, did I miss the cure that? Uh, no, two for the whole party. So two oh, lesser okay. antidotes, All right. two lesser elixirs of healing, two spears, or two crowbars. So eight pieces of loot. You guys figure that out amongst yourselves. Uh, I don't need a crowbar. I think I have one already. Probably. It I'll seems take a, like heavy. an antidote. Mm-hmm. Okay, those are all gone. I'm sure you won't need them at all. Don't worry about it. Probably oh, not. no. All right, I'll take a lesser healing, too. <laughs> wow, Mr. Bieber's just taking the everything. Well, it's, I mean, there's eight things. There's That's know. right. That's right. So after, uh, after traveling for a bit, you managed to get to the wreck a lot quicker than you thought. Oh, good. Good. Hold on. Let me just check. What happened to our cannons? We had nice cannons before. I know the cannons. You thought, hey, cannons, we can use those. And the answer is not really. They turned into uh, ballistas. (laughs) Those don't really work. Uh, They look like they work. Nope. Working, they do not. Don't worry about the ballistas. So eventually you pull up to the wreck area and she finds the sore seeker lying half submerged in the sea. Sure enough, it seems to be propped up with several more wrecked ships. It is obviously heavily damaged and half sinking into the sea with the lower part and the whole right side I don't know if that'd be starboard aft, um, is in the sea for our purposes. The east side is in the water. And she pulls up along the side that's not sinking into the sea, lays down some floorboards, and says, well, here we are. Here is the shore, Shika. I heard you were supposed to get something from this dump. So let's hurry it up before we lose any more daylight. All right, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back shortly. Of course, of course. We'll wait for you. I'm going to jump over to the other ship. Okay. Me too. Okay. You guys stay up. Nix Knox is going to. Is Voltaris or Nella going on to the other ship as well? Um, yeah, of course. I I'll go we kind of have to, but... Mr. Peeper. I mean, it's our job. Stop, everyone. I'm going to hang back a little bit, though. I'm just going to... Excellent. As Voltaris, Peepers, and Nix Knox jump, and Thorgrim jump onto the other ship, Stop. suddenly you see mold, lots of gray mold. Oh, no. Spring up from your shuffling of your feet, up into your nostrils and your face 
everybody except for Nella, give me a fortitude save. Oh, I had no. my, oh, did I mention I had my helmet on? <laughs> Mr. Peepers gets a 15. Volteros gets a 15. Nyx Knox gets a 12. And Thorgrim the Lion roll. 19. Gets a 19. Yes. So poor Mr. Nyx Knox. <coughs> he starts choking <laughs> a little bit. <coughs> oh, no, little one. And, uh, ooh, four points of damage, Nick Stock. Nick Stock, stay six feet away from me, please, at all times. <laughs> so uh, mark, mark that off, Nick Stock, that you, uh, you took some damage. Um, <laughs> you take that off. You take some damage there. And, uh, and sure enough, the mold seems to be all around Volteris, Mr. Peepers, and Thorgrim. Uh, uh, what do you do? Hurry, hurry. Uh, well, is the mold still there, or it, like, did it? Is it just around us, or is it, or is it like all over the ship? Uh, you, you. Uh, I will do a perception for you. Give me a second. Oh, Mr. Peepers can easily see the area where the mold is encompassing. Let me show you. Give me a second. Hold on. There we go. That area is where uh, you see the mold. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and I point this out. I say, behold wow. the mold. Don't behold the mold. The mold. I'm, I'm I, a, I think we got a good lawsuit against the captain of the ship shaping up for putting the boards right where the mold was. Yeah, mm -hmm. seriously. Eh, don't worry about it. Nick Knox, give me another saving throw. As you were still coughing up the mold as it's settling nicely into your lungs. <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, oh, oh. An eight. An eight is... Uh, <laughs> I hate Nick Knox, get out of the mold. Move. Move yourself. Get out a, of uh, the mold. It's a hero point to re-roll a... Uh... Yeah, he can if he wants. But, uh, nah, I don't want to. He does uh, this is this is baby stuff. Uh you take one point of poison damage and you're clumsy. So you're all like blah, uh -huh. like sort of like bumbling around. Give me another saving throw, Mr. Nick Knox. Oh my god. I'll Wait be right back. Second. Two seconds. This this antidote that I have. Oh Nick Knox. He actually manages to cough some of it out. And he's feeling better. He takes three points of damage, and after a vigorous round of coughing, the mold is gone and out of his throat. Wow. Good job. <coughs> Quarantining him. So, uh, okay. You're, you're on the ship, and you don't see any signs of a dead body or a gorget or... Do we anything. see anything that's like a way to get down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could definitely get down. You could definitely get down. Nella, mind uh, how, the mold. Can, I, we get can, I avoid the, can I avoid the mold getting on or do a jump to get over it or something? Uh, you actually. Give me uh, a second. He's me only. Second. Or even do a quick produce flame and blow some of it out of there. Yeah, exactly. Can you burn it? Like, can you can you do nature to identify the mold and find out if produce flame will burn yes. it away or yep. aggravate it or make yeah, it grow? <laughs> I actually, you think I did the I did it for you using your forest lore. You were able to determine that you can remove or neutralize the mold without disturbing it using flame. It should be okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna start. Clear, I'm gonna start clearing a spot I, to step into. And just I, I use away. produce flame and I assist. I, I am all about clearing all of that mold away. Okay. I'll, you, I'll, just, guys, I'll just do it. You two use your cantrips and clear all the mold away while covering your mouth and nose since you do not breathe in any of the toxic fumes. And it is gone as if it was never there. Good job. <laughs> so it looks like there's multiple ways to go down. So how would you wish to proceed? Like, what are the ways? Oh, I mean, uh, I I... Try... one thing I wanted to try is I wanted to try to detect magic. 
toward the fore and towards the aft and see if we I mean I don't know that the the mm -hmm. gorget is magical but it's worth a shot if sure. it's a valuable treasure right. and you know. and while while Nell is doing that I try to bum a potion off of somebody to get some healing back <laughs> that's right yeah right. I, I have one you, you, actually um yeah you could have mine all right so I do that uh, so what, what is that what does that potion give you uh if you, one healing, whatever the lesser healing is one the eight here, drink this. You might should help you. I'm gonna do a, a medicine check just to see if he. Uh, it's good. Just to see if he is like affected by. Like, is this gonna be a long term? Like, is it gonna grow in no. his lungs or anything like that? No, it's not rock grub. Okay. No, I think that's what that last save was. It looks like it's one of those staged okay. things, and I staged my way out of it. You staged. He 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 was fine. He staged his way out. Um, there's a couple of ways. Oh, wait, what were you saying that, um, Nella was doing? Sorry. I want to try to do a couple detect magics if I can sort sure. of angle it. You detect magic. The you, toward the back of the ship. There's no magic. And as far as you know, this is actually not magical. So that's not, doesn't surprise you. So it's, it's, there's no magic. Okay. It was worth a try. All right. Let's go below. I, I think I see a hatch over here. Uh, uh, wait, wait, my, wait, 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 please, please. Uh, I'm starting to be alarmed that this may be more dangerous than I had originally thought. I would like to take a moment to cast mage armor upon myself. So I do. Excellent. Mage armor. I am impressed with your Sorry. arcane prowess. Uh, Mr. No, Peepers is going yeah. to equip himself with... Uh, two short swords. So, uh, how much armor class does that give you? A plus a lot, actually, right? Four, probably. Uh, let's see here. Uh, plus one item bonus to AC. You use your unarmed proficiency. Oh, it's yeah. actually not that great. It's not that good. No, it's just plus one, isn't it? So, so yeah, plus you ward, yeah, you, you ward yourself with shimmering magical energy, gaining yeah. plus one item bonus to AC. With a maximum dexterity modifier of five. Right. Well, well you went up from an AC of eleven to twelve. Good but job. it's it stacks with it stacks with unarmed defense. Yeah, yeah. Defense. It's it's yeah. it's it's decent. It's better than nothing. Is. Yeah. Better I'm gonna nothing. equip my shield and get my trusty trident at the ready. Okay. You're all ready. Everyone's ready for combat, except for um you're on the ship. So what are you going to do? You you look underneath. Now it doesn't detect magic. You can look at some of the portholes, and sure enough, underneath the deck, water. Like just Nella, did you water. did you use a spell to do that, or do you have an innate ability? It's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Yeah. Okay. Is uh, is it? Wait, detect magic is a cantrip for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, because because I I have detect magic at will also. This is why. Excellent. Yeah. Well, let's uh, yeah, the go ways, that way. The ways down are what now? There's a few of them? There's just a couple of ways. This one's going to be a little bit more abstracted. So um, I didn't really... Don't worry about it. We're All gonna, right. We'll, we'll, we'll go down. Let us uh, descend into the lower uh, level. Do you want point or uh, do you want well, me I'll to take go? point. No, take I'll take point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you, you make it down to the flooded lower decks. And it's it. you just have to go a little bit down. And sure enough, you get to about chest level where there's just water in the in the lower deck. And you can see off in the distance, nowhere near <laughs> one of the entrances, the telltale spine of a creature sticking out of the water, but it appears quite dead. You mean like? A uh, human skeleton. Yeah, when you, no, can no, you no, describe no. the creature, uh, it looks like a snake-like substance, like it's almost, uh, almost like a, a sea serpent. And the the there's like a bump, like a part of it of the snake is peering out from the bottom from the water. So someone's gonna have to like look down at the water to see what's down there. So it's just, I, you went down and you see like a little bit of a bump. So does anyone like go down to see what's? There? I do. I'd be willing to go to and do a nature check and see sure. if, it, if I recognize it. Or... Yep. So you look down and you see wedged into the hole on the side of the shore seeker is the head of an enormous sea serpent 
clutched in its jaws is the body of an oafen man wearing an ornate garnet. Wow. An axe is firmly embedded in the side of the serpent's head. So it looks like the serpent was eating him while he was killing it and hit it in the head. So you see him half devoured in the serpent and he's wearing the gortlet. Quit. Pretty, pretty rad. Uh, mission accomplished. Wow. Um, so, so someone will have to, now it looks like it's far enough away that someone will have to hold their breath. I can hold my breath a long time. <laughs> oh, nice. Good. 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 Leslie Nielsen, Nielsen reference. A uh, long <laughs> time. Uh, you, um, will, you can hold your breath for five plus your con. That's how many rounds. It's way less in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Thank you, Eric. You're like, welcome. way less. It was a joke yeah. in Pathfinder first. I, I agree. <laughs> Still. Um, it's, it's not that many rounds. Now, a few things to note. It will take you one round just to get over to where the body of the sea serpent is. And it looks like it's easy. It's like you don't have to do a check. You can just go under and just swim over there for one round. And then it looks like you're going to have to get the body probably best to get the body because it's wearing the uh, armor and i have a picture of what it looks like hold on so you get a better idea i was thinking of just putting the whole kit and caboodle into the bag including the serpent head and the axe and everything yeah i mean you can try to you can try to grab him and pull him out from the serpent's mouth and then drag him back with you you basically need like you need to force open the sea serpent's jaws and then just drag him out. Uh, it looks like but he, he's, he's like that's big. Like the, he's like uh, Quint in Jaws. You know when Quint dies in Jaws by getting yeah. eaten. Like yeah. he, like it's that situation. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is. I'll go down as uh, a security escort because I am not flat-footed in water. I'm really. You got yeah. skills, huh? I have skills. Man, I hope. I wonder up. what skill John Stats took from Mr. Peepers. Well, what was that skill that every single person poo pooed you on when you leveled up to level two? What I was did. that, John? It was underwater marauder. Oh! I, can't, I can't believe it. I can't <laughs> believe it. There's no penalties for <laughs> using blunt or slashing melee weapons, which I have two slashing weapons in water, and I'm not flat footed. So, see, uh, my solution to that is I use a piercing weapon. <laughs> it's just so funny that everyone gave you so much crap for taking that. And it's been in water so since we've so done many that. times. Uh, nothing but water. So uh, that's what the sea serpent looks like, by the way. So it's a it's a bit large and a bit scary. So uh so who is going down into the depth? The you know what? I volunteer for that. I mean Nella might want to Nella can turn into like a creature of the sea, but is but Nella can't do much in that form. Yeah, it can only right? turn into a small sea creature. Which yeah, you can't really pry up in terms of getting so the job. Can Vorteris, he can too, by the way. Yeah, but it's I can do what? You could, <laughs> you could turn into a, a fish. Yeah, I could. That's literally what I'm looking up right now. I could turn it into could a be fish. An otter. Oh, yeah, yeah. An pest otter. Form. The problem well, that I see here, because I was also thinking of like, whoa, I mean, could you somehow mage hand it? I think that we're going to have to pry the jaws of that thing open, and that's going to be hard to do as a fish. And it's certainly going to be, I would, I'm assuming Steven's going to rule it like an attended object. So I don't think mage yeah. hand is going to work. So I think someone's got to go in there and just like pry it out. Is yeah. I, I volunteer for that. And maybe someone can for a pry open the draw. Someone can mage hand it then or something like we'll have to right. see or play yeah. it by ear, but I will volunteer. I'm going to stow my oh. trident and my shield. Yeah, my you know, the man looks like he weighs a good 200 pounds and he's covered with armor, so he's probably going to sink quickly. I don't think... Yeah, I'm very strong, though, so I, sh I, I think I can... No, no, I think a person... Like, can you, do it, I'm just willing like, to help with, the, with like, the jaws of the creature. Sure. If you, look at the I, way it's, if you look at the way it's set up, I mean, this is gross, but can you just chop his head off and take it? You can, but it looks like it's going to be much, much harder to do that. Well, don't forget every round, every time you swing, it uses two rounds of breath. Well, wasn't part of the thing um, was that they wanted the remains and stuff? Yeah, I mean, this guy is a king, I think, so we don't want to. Mess yeah, with a little respect. Yeah. Uh, we can all bring right, it so, back on a pike. How about so, that? <laughs> so what I could, what I could do is I could take a rope and affix it around the body, and then and okay, then you can, like and then pry the jaws. And someone else hold the rope so that it's uh so it doesn't sink. 
Um, uh, yes. I have the ability to grant one of my allies a short burst of physical prowess and strength, but it must be used within six seconds uh, <laughs> of the, of the, the, the boon. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to help in this case, because how far away is this? I mean, how out of character does it seem like it's going to take multiple actions to get to it? Or No, it looks like it's about 30 feet swimming underwater, so one okay. round. Okay. Uh, it's, an, it's, it's 30, well, I'm abstracting. It's one sure. round underwater. Like, think of it this way. What, like three actions, though? It would be one action to swim to it, and it's totally underwater, like where the body is. So there's nowhere to like get a breath, right. and then to actually open or do an attack is going to be two rounds of breath. So you get five rounds plus your con. Oh. So keep in mind, it'll be one round to swim there, one round to try to open up the jaws, then maybe you know one round to swim back. And maybe one round to grab them. So you have to kind of, you got to almost do it. Uh, now, I don't know how many people who has a really good con. And if you run out of breath, you uh, you start to um, drown. And that gets really bad. Vortaris, uh, does your, does your, does your cantrip, does it have the ability, can you cast it underwater? Uh, the I have difficulty. Are you talking about my physical boost boon? <laughs> it is no mere cantrip. <laughs> yeah. It is a focus spell of the first circle. I have studied long and hard to be able to cast this innately. Cantrip. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the for the insult. Politric. Uh, y- yes. The, so that politric. No. Um, so it yeah. has a verbal component. So yes. as to whether that can be done underwater, I, that's up to Steve. No. Uh, yeah, no. I'm guessing no. Yeah. Unless you got some air bubble or something. But like, you, are you, yeah, like, I was, I was, actually, only, I was I mean, thinking about that because because uh, what I want to know is can I craft up? And so here, here's my here's my Rube Goldfarb uh, uh, solution. Wine skin, empty the wine out of wine skin, blow it up like a balloon, maybe put a weight on it, and you have an extra breath of air that you might need at the emergency. That's clever. Wow. Nix Knox always outside the box, that one. Uh, uh, yeah, Nix Knox outside the box. Yeah, that's that, that's Nix Knox outside the box. That's exactly. That's great. Actually, I'll totally allow that you will get one extra breath of air if you do that that is that is smart thinking all right uh, steve one other quick question so uh help me understand is th- we could see enough of the 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 spine of that uh serpent creature so am i led to believe that part of this under this understructure of the the boat is not underwater like could you swim out there with your head above the water and then dive down or just you could- like to a point, but then where they are, like the body is much further down. It's like Jaws. It's exactly oh, okay, like okay, Jaws. okay, Remember, okay. Like you were actually talking about Quinn. It's actually the first part of Jaws when he goes and he finds the at shark night. Yeah. at night. It's like just the boat, but then you got to go under to get it out and then come back. So it's on its side. I'm like mm-hmm. doing weird stuff, but it's on its side. So think of the water. It's like you see the serpent, like part of its body out, but you got to go under. So like and he sunk to the bottom of the hole because of his weight and the body of the head. So okay, I get it. You can cool. do. You can go right up to it, but it's still one round to swim down. So, yeah, I just this physical prowess thing is like. Let, let me read it to you, and you can maybe mm-hmm. you'll understand kind it's of why. It's it's uh, it's touch. It's verbal. It's one living creature, and its duration is until the end of the target's next turn. So if it if it takes a round of action, because I know we're kind of abstracting this, I don't really understand. I think the way I'm reading it is you, you'd run out of time. He would run out of time. Able. Yeah, okay. he'd, he'd run. So out I'm going to stop trying to figure out how to give someone a plus two, <laughs> unless um, you can find a diving helmet or put a bucket on your head and make an air around you. you I'm not going to do that. I, I feel confident in my skills. I, I'm very strong and I'm very athletic. So do you have the skills to pay the bills. Uh, I do. I do. So I, I mean, with Nick's box is a little backup air. Um, I can like give someone on this end a rope to hold on to. I'm thinking we'll still try the rope thing and then I'll swim over there with my end of the rope tied around the body, open up the draws and then you can yank it and I'll swim yeah. back. Who's yanking? Who's I think the all, yank? All the rest of you guys, right? Oh, I, I can, probably, what, I can uh, try to help. I'm not very strong, but I mean, I can certainly try. 
Yeah, do you want to be we... escorted, Chris, at all? Or do you want me back pulling the rope? Yes, I need my personal guard, yes. Okay. I'll, I'll just hang on to the rope. I'll, I, I, don't, I don't need to be pulled by the rope. Mr. Peepers, take a deep breath. This is an old don't come up, don't come up for air until the job is done. Who's going down? Mr. Me Peepers and Mr. Peepers. Me and... Uh, uh, Thorgrim and Mr. Peepers. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Thorgrim. Thorgrim, what is your con? Uh, 14. 16. Let me double check. So you get eight rounds. 14. I'm sorry. 14. You get seven rounds of breath. Mr. Yep. Peepers, what's your con? The same. 14. All right, good. You actually both get seven. That's actually pretty good. Seven rounds of breath. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. You swim over. <laughs> Nick's Knox. Is Nick's Knox even anywhere near this water? Or is he still on deck, by the way? I'm just curious. No, I, I, I made my contraption. That's my participation. Other than that, I'll, I'll grab a rope and I'll help pull, but I'm not getting anywhere near that water. Yeah, and I, oh, have I think we're I posted have... up near the where the water starts, just right. trying to help out. And, I oh, see. I forgot. Did you give that contra contraption to anyone specifically? Your one breath of air, the uh, Nick's Knox. Do you give that to someone? Seth? Yeah, I give it. Yeah, I give it to uh, who's the Chris is doing that, right? Thorgrim. Uh, yep. Thorgrim's okay, Thorgrim. Doing it? So you yeah, get that, you'll get that extra. You can hold it in one hand. So in one hand I have that, and the other hand I have the rope, and I'm just swimming. All right, you go down. <gasps> you swim down, swimming, swim, 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 swim down, swim down, swim. Okay, and Nick, Mr. Peepers, uh, follows you. Sure enough, you get to a grisly sight. This axe is firmly embedded in the side of the serpent, very deep indeed. You can see how it was killed in one blow. However, the serpent has also taken a huge hunk out of what remains of this large man. Who wishes to try to force open the sea serpent's jaws? Well, first thing I do is tie the rope around the skeleton. Okay, so Thorgrim, you have... Five rounds remaining, as does Peepers. You both do. Five rounds remaining of breath. Okay, you, you successfully will tie it around. I'll say it's easy enough that even a dwarf can do it. <laughs> and then I will, I, will, I will pry open the mouth now. Okay, give me an athletics check. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. He rolls nice. a 25. Nice. Wow, you guys are really getting good with the rolls. Uh, I should have voted, had people vote on the sea serpent. No. Oh, well. Can, um, I, can, I, can I do something while he does that? What are you going to do? Okay, I'll take the axe out, of course. Good good idea. Oh, <laughs> I was going to waste a breath on that, too. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no, boy. <laughs> Order him is down to three breaths. And because uh, it takes two breaths for you to successfully wrench open the jaws without touching any of the razor sharp spikes on its spine or its massive teeth. And you manage to open it up and the body limply falls out very carefully. As for Mr. Peepers, the thief, what would be an appropriate for you to get that? Uh, Probably athletics, I, th I guess. I mean, unless it's strength. Uh, it is pretty much strength, but I I'll give you athletics to see if, because uh, your strength stinks. So maybe you could figure out some tricky way to kind of pry it out, if you will. Right. Okay, so here we go. 17. Mm, that's, nice. That's actually pretty good. I'll say that you have three rounds of breath left and you almost got it. You almost got it. You're so close. You're so close to getting that axe out. You think if you did one more big heave ho, you can get it. Well, we need two two rounds to get back, right? One round. One round. Oh, one well, round. yeah. Sure. I'll keep How many going. do I have left? I have like three left. You have three. You both have three. All right, I'll help. I'll do it. I'll try and yank it out with my other Really? Arm. Sure. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Uh, athletic. Here we go. This is going to be funny. Yours is probably better than mine. 15. Thorgrim fails. He can't get mm, it out. You have one breath start. around left before you start. Oh, my God. Mr. Peepers rolls a 22. All right. You got one brown round of breath left. You're about to turn purple. And 
the axe pops out, and you're both like, yeah, thumbs up, and you're both... <laughs> John well, we give the, the okay underwater. Right, the okay, okay for, yeah. and then thumbs up, but we're all divers here. Yeah. We know that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thumbs yep. Up. Yep. Well, that ding, means ding, I'm rather air about air. Oh, yeah. Actually, oh, wait. Do the turnaround sign. Yeah. I got the nasty mix box air in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd rather uh, just take the damage. God, yeah. God only knows what was in that wine skin before. Yeah. It, 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 it I didn't want that. It does not I, was, good. I was not going to. That, that's fart air, is what we call that. You know, yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrific. Well, all right. So I guess uh, we you swim back and then pop up. And you're like, ah, and you're like grasping for air. And sure enough, Mr. Peepers is holding this huge axe that's like half the size of his head in his hands. And he's like, victory! And we, again. Reel, reel, we reel in the Our body with the, with the rope. Like, How did Mr. Peepers always come out on top on these things? It's, it's amazing. Traditional, hey, he's picking out the traditional thief weapon. He now he's, has his weapon yeah. now. He's got the hey, luck of this <laughs> Peepers got a peep. <laughs> it is unbelievable. It's like Mr. Peepers. It's pretty loot. Get... I mean, I am in my element here. I mean, I think it should be water. called. He's Every... an underwater marauder. Everything <laughs> comes up. Peepers is what the name of this should be. <laughs> Either that or Cascade. Uh, <laughs> Cascade. Um. All right. Well, you got him tied to the rope. It's just a matter of. So we, re we reel him in gently. <laughs> you reel him in gently. You know. Not too much of him Reverse falls off. Let him play a little. Yeah, Give him a little play. He's going to fight a little. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's not too bad. A foot Fair here, a finger there. Hey, maybe you can use one of those extra fingers, uh, Voltaris, and use it on your hand. You can like. Oh, yeah. Get... There are three. I need three fingers on my hand. <laughs> got a, he's got a spare ear, too, by the way. Oh, <laughs> good. I could use that as well. <laughs> um. Okay, you, you're you doing so well. You bring back, you got the gorlet, you got the, uh, you got the, wow, you got the body? Got the axe and the body. You yeah. got an axe? No one's dead? You burned off all the, uh, the mold? The mold? Is there a way to uh, inspect the axe and look at its uh, magical properties? Yes, uh, Nick Knox, Nella, guys. and Vortaris, take a look at this axe. It's a fire. Yes. I will hit it with the detect magic now that we're closer. Well, <laughs> it, it, it is, appears to be magical. Weird. Both of them appear to be strangely mag magical. Now that you're closer, there was probably too much water blocking you and, and just stuff. You didn't have quite enough line of effect, Nella, before. But you do see that they both have strange magical properties, and you think that the magic only works for members of this family, which means you will definitely have to return that axe because it doesn't uh, belong to you. Well, well we may get a reward. reward. Yes, that's that's the best thing to do anyway. May I? May I please hold the take axe? it? Take it. Vortaris the Impatient grasped the magical axe. For the first time, he held a true weapon of arcane mastery. Does it feel Does it feel good, Stephen? It feels as if... This is the first are... magic weapon I've ever held. Oh, really? Oh, yes! <sighs> yes! I've hardly held a weapon since the incident. Mm, the incident. Yes, we must talk about the incident later. It, yeah, it feels, it feels wonderful. It feels as if oh, you're God, holding... Yeah power itself you feel as if almost you could born to wield power acts command undead legions although we're getting oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes well now i feel as i could summarize this appropriately here you are mr peepers i return the axe to you Yes. It's like uh, one, one more step to world dominate. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it is not about world domination. It is about survival and making the most of your time. It's about it's about my retirement plan and my retirement yes. plan just encompassing taking over the world. <laughs> and I've never said that. Never said it out loud. Um, All right, let us let's. I think we're done here. Yes. Yeah. Except as you 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 reach back upstairs, you're dragging along the body. Patty, Mike, Jane, and Stan are on the side, and suddenly Mike and Jane go screaming overboard. Ah! And you hear them screaming and uh, floundering in the water. And uh, Stan and Patty 
quickly run over and say, what, what happened? What? Ah! And they like scream and they're getting thrown overboard too. And the captain's like, we're under attack. We're under attack. By what? Oh, what do we see? A Kraken? Rule for combat. There we go. <laughs> the rule nice. for combat appropriately is going. And I'm not last, thank God. <laughs> oh, nice. Mr. Peepers. You it is always know. good when Peepers goes first. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Peepers, you're up first. You just saw poor Mike, poor Stan, poor other unnamed characters fall over the side dead. What do you do? Wait, they're uh, dead? Or they I jumped out? Wait, 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 they came over and you hear screaming. You I get a perception dead. check of where skeletal hands pulling them or giant <laughs> tentacles. Uh, that is a good question. Let's let's do that. That was an action. I will do that for you. Perception twenty two. You see off into the west, perhaps the remnants of a sea serpent, very similar oh. to the one that just ah, ate sea the serpent. Friend. What do you do when you say oh. remnants? Does it look skeletal? No, you no, just what? saw it like, appear and disappear. I meant more like a flash, not a Okay, okay, but it looks flash. like a living creature. Yeah, it's a living creature. It looks like okay. a living creature, you think. Um, oh, well, that's... I draw my two uh, weapons, two short swords. That's two actions. That's two actions, you're done. You're done. You get three actions. Oh, that's two actions, one per sword. Well, Terrace is done. Oh, that's right. I can't do that in one action. Dang it. There's no, no not yet. A quick draw or something. You got the feet for it? Nah, you don't. Now, if you took quick draw instead of underwater nonsense. Yes. Can I see any part of this sea creature? Yeah, hold on. I'm going to... Uh... Just adding them. Okay. Um. Okay, I'll see you go. Oops, sorry, I'm just doing some cleanup. And... No problem. Oh, I screwed up. Hold on. I'm just going to do it the old way. Uh, you have no idea. You can't see anything. <laughs> so you do not know. You can't see anything. Sorry. Um, whoa, that sucks. Keep in mind... The, the ship is large, and they got pulled over, so the sea serpent could so much as be right next to the ship, so obviously you have to get way closer to the west side to look straight down or more of a better angle because, you know, you really can't see. Um, way closer? You mean closer than the five feet that I'm currently away from in the edge of the ship? I'm, I'm no, not sure I understand. No, you, okay, let me draw it on the, sorry. Uh, you're okay, correct. no problem. Somewhere over there on the red, in that area, they the the they're over there. That's where I they're. see. Okay, okay, okay. All the right. way on the other side of the ship, on the side to the west. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I hear you. No problem. So I'm going to move. Um, oh man, I got so many things on my screen here. I'm going to move. Um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And the mold comes back now. Okay. Um, so that's one move. Hold on, actually. Let me refresh my memory on what my move actually is. Um, where is that on the thing? Humans uh, should be I 30, I would think. 30, right? yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Wait, so, no, all right. So then. Uh, um, your move is 25. That's what I thought. I, it was changed in 2E. Okay, yeah, so right. here's where I get with one move. Then uh, I'm going to... Basically, here's what I'm going to do. And with the full knowledge that this is probably stupid, I'm just going to go right up to the edge. And then uh, that's two moves. And then for my third action, I'm going to just try and look out at C and see if I can see anything. So perception. This is what is? Be careful. Yeah. Use caution. No, we... Uh, we must be heroes of our chronicle. This is our great opportunity. We must save Nancy and Paul and whatever else their names were. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike and Jim and John and Jason. Yes. Oh, sa save the captain at least because I don't know how to drive this boat. Oh, neither do I. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> do I see anything? Uh, 
Yeah, oh, I yeah. See, you see sea see serpent right there. Two sea serpents, one right near you. You see sea serpent oh. number four and sea serpent number eight. Don't worry oh. about that numbering. There can't be more than eight in the water then. Thorgrim is up. Thorgrim, you can't see them, but... I, I, know where the, I know where the action is. Yeah. You know where the action is. And Volteris could probably, as a free action, can say, oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to point him out then. Oh, there's that's two in the water over here. My <laughs> allies, come. Come, okay. come. I will do what I always do first, which Run is... Run away? Nope. Equip Mirror my shield. image? Equip my shield. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, no. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna quit my shield. I'm actually gonna. Um, I'm gonna move first. Let's do that. Okay. So that's five. Yep. Fifteen. Yep. Twenty. Yep. I'm oh, gonna. Man. I'm gonna keep moving. That's I'm a good slow. place to be. Beyond the gangplank, right over the. I know. Water. That's, that's, a, that's like might as well just stand there and fight. Worst thing that happens, you fall in the water. How, how bad could that be? A guy in plate right, armor so, standing on a thick I know, plank of wood. I know, it probably breaks. <laughs> I fall. Uh, what do I see it from here? Yeah, or no? you can see them. Okay, see them. and it, it looks like it's like out a little bit. So it's like I can't like I can't really melee it, right? Oh no, 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 no! You definitely can't melee it from here. And it looks like they're ripping those bodies to shred. Do I have some blood I can draw on the uh, on the screen? All right, so, so I, I'm actually going to draw. Then at this point, I will draw one of my javelins. And I'm done. It's it's covered in blood. You can't even see the poor creature. And I do I do yell out, Mix Knox and Nala, Mister Peepers. There's sea serpents on the side, on the starboard side of the of our vessel. A sea serpent goes sees Mister Thorgrim. What do you know, Thorgrim? Your AC is twenty, not twenty two, because your shield is yeah, that's correct. Not raised. Yeah, I don't even have shield in my hand at all. Sea Serpent moves back a bit and decides to hit you in the... Let's see. Eesh, I don't like it. It can back from there. Uh, <laughs> it moves it back. It like, it like whips up and back. throws... Yeah, and throws water at your face. What do you mean it throws? It oh, throws this, this, it water? Spits. It spits. Fine. Spit. Water okay. spout. Water in your great. face. It's literally called water spout. Let's see. Will a 24 Barely. hit your yeah. AC of 20? Barely. You take two points of damage. Oh, I forgot. Give me a fortitude save. Oh, no. For drowning. Oh, yes. Thirteen. That is really, really bad. Do you wish to roll again and use your hero point before I tell you what happens? Yes. Okay. You so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your hero point is gone. That's more like it. 24. Your first Solid 24. There, you felt as if some of the allergy from the sea how ap apropos is about to go up your nose as you're going to breathe in the water from the spout and it would have been doing terrible, terrible things to you. Some plankton. But, but don't worry. It gets to use it again on you. Great. Get a minus. Minus five. And he rolls a five, which is a critical miss. Nick Snox is up next. Nick Snox definitely saw that and even Nick Snox could almost see it from where he is, he probably has to get onto the other ship to see it clearly. But this, this, or Nick Snox, you love this fighting in the water on an ocean on a sea vessel. What more could you ever want in your life? I, I, it's everything I signed up for the Black Lodge for. It's everything I signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so I, so is, uh, I, talk to me about the forecastle. This uh, front part of the ship is that actually raised up so it's even further away from the water? Like uh, are those stairs real or is yeah? It just... And if you go up the stairs, they're difficult terrain or down the stairs. So all right, I'm using my entire three actions to awesome. get me to here. You got it. You are all the way up there. They see you and you see each other quite nicely. Okay, but uh, but I'm I'm yeah. that extra distance away from them, right? Yes, you are. Um, sea serpent number four sees Voltaris right there, looking right at him. He doesn't what? even have to move. You can just water spout right into no. Voltaire's face. Why? You don't like that? 
Well, I think this will be fun. Uh, AC 11. Good luck. AC 11. He rolls an 18. Oh, that's not good. He hits you for one point of damage. <laughs> However, uh, it's, just a, it's just a spray of water. A mist, if you will. A uh, fortitude save, though. Okay, hold on. Don't worry. That it's not. That's probably your best save. It's probably twenty-two. 22. Nice job. Well, Paris feels fine. The sea serpent decides to take things a little bit more serious. He doesn't need to. Closer, <laughs> and decides to reach out and bite you. Great. Its, it has ten foot reach. Ah, it tries to bite you with its jaws. Cool. Fourteen. That hits. Four points Ouch. of damage. The news is that it ran out of actions, so it doesn't have time to grab you. Yeah, that is good and news. And pull you under the sea. That under is good news. Sea, under the sea. You might want to get away from the side. Well, the other good news is it's actually close now. Yes, nice. it is. Nella's up. All right. Action one is just going to be a straight up move. Action two is going to be a move. And then I guess since I can't really do an attack, action three is going to be to use the mast to take to take cover. You got it. You're taking cover. Now, nice. before we start the next round, I want to see everybody. Are you rooting for the PCs? Yeah, why is it's rooting for the sea serpents because oh, things might so happen. <laughs> the sea you guys, serpents. the sea serpents, they're mean. Look at this, they're trying to kill them, they can constrict them. I even use some of the special attacks yet. No, you everyone want, wants everyone wants to root for sea serpent. Oh, we got one for the sea serpents. The sea serpents are PCs. slimy and nasty. Ooh, three for PCs. So a sea serpent t-shirt. That's Jason. Jason, you're voting <laughs> against right. the old party. <laughs> wow. Guys, people like you. Who would have thunk? Thank goodness. Oh, my God. I think we're very likable. I think you're very pathetic. Well, a -A -A you. Likable. Um, yeah. yeah, sure. It's a fine line. <laughs> it is a fine line. Oh, well, wow. Man, it's overwhelming that people want the PCs to win. I was going to say, if they were rooted for the Sea Serpent, we might have had some more internet connection problems. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly everyone goes away. Click! Hey, where'd everyone go? Oh, that's a good one. All the PCs except Mr. Peepers. That is accurate. I like that wow. one. <laughs> Peepers as a blood sacrifice. You know, if you throw Mr. Peepers overboard and he gets eaten, that might just happen. I'm telling you that right now. Um, do We're okay. donating one member of the party. That's right. Hey, man. You know, it's, it's got to be short. Well, Mr. Short Peepers, Mr. Peepers, Mr. Peepers has a charmed life, so he'd see he could use a little, little hardship here. I guarantee <laughs> he would throw. He'd be thrown overboard. You'd see him get devoured by the sea serpents. You get back to port, and he'd be sitting there waiting for you on the dock. And you'd be like, <laughs> "What? <laughs> what?" He's like, "Boy, do I got a tail for you?" Because that is how Mr. Peepers. They yeah. swallowed me whole. <laughs> and yeah. I, for, my, for those of you who think we have thirty minutes left, we can go past ten because nothing comes after us. But this will be probably the end after this. So for those of you who want to go to sleep or have something else, we will hopefully wrap up around 10. So, Mr. Peepers, you're up. I am going to two moves to get to... That's exactly uh, 50. Uh, took wow. my spot. He took okay. Thorgrim's spot. Okay, Mr. Peepers, you're well, right here. You've got your two swords in hand. Do you really want that spot? No, go uh, ahead. Go ahead. It's too late. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, and I whap him with the sword. All right. I'll say he's a little bit far down, so he's got a little bit of cover because he's actually doing a little reach, but I'll give it to you since the, P well, they the PCs. I'm going to give it to you because the PCs, they want PCs to win, so I'm not going to make I'm going to make him closer than he should be. 27. Holy smoles. Nice. You know what that is? Critical hit. Critical hit. <laughs> Critical hit, holy moly. Did I do a critical <laughs> hit? I didn't even know how to do that. God damn, charmed life. Holy is it, is it flat footed? Maybe you get some sneak attack somehow? No. Uh, it's not flat footed. 
It didn't. If it grabbed him, ironically, it would have been flat-footed, but it didn't. Voltaire, the sea serpent, opens his jaw. It was roaring. Ju Voltaire's, ju Voltaire's jump into his mouth so he can get it. Nope, nope, so, nope. I did 18 damage, and it's still alive. Still alive? God, of course. This thing is Level tough. two. Level two. Yeah, well, Voltaire uh, moves up here onto the forecastle. Hopes that uh, the thing doesn't have attack of opportunity. Eight, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's two actions, though, because that's difficult terrain stairs. Sorry. That's your rules. Not mine. There you go. Um, yeah, that's fine. One action. No attack of opportunity. Okay, cool. Um, can I still see him? Because his face yeah. was up by. Okay, good. Yeah, then I'm going to cover from that boat, I'll say. Just a that's little. fine. I just need to be able to target him. Oh, so I'm going to. Line of Use a two action spell then called Agitate, and I'm going to cast it on him. And uh, there you go. He's got to do a will saving throw. If he fails, he's going to have to uh, move around in addition to whatever else he does or take some pretty significant mental damage. All right. So, this so during the duration, the target must stride at least once or take blah, blah, blah. So, wait, first I do the saving throw, and if he fails, yep. then he has to strike because we did this last game. And since it's a brand new spell from Lost Omens, we had to right. figure it out. So, right. So, he's uh, got to make the saving throw. And right. then I've got the little, you know, target is saved. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yes. oh God. Those, those oh, so like, he critically failed. A critically That's failure. Nice. It so that's a one. He yeah, rolled that, a one. That yeah. is awesome. So that is the duration is four rounds. So it says you send your target's mind and body into overdrive, forcing it to become restless and hyperactive. During the duration, so for four rounds, the target must stride at least once each turn or take 2d8 mental damage that turn. Nice. The duration of this effect depends on the target's will save. So basically you have to stride or you take damage. For four rounds. I don't think it's going to uh, last that long, so I'm not too I'm, I've never been more relieved to hear someone say that. <laughs> Until the next <laughs> four show up. Thorgrim is up! All right, so Thorgrim's like, tactically, all right, I have a weapon in hand, and I shall use it. There's space. There's space for you, Thorgrim. True, but this this one over, this number eight is 30 feet away. I'm going to throw my javelin at it. Well, it's one action to take out the javelin. No, no, I had one in my hand from the last round. You did? Yes. Yeah, he brought it up. Was oh, it your javelin or your uh, your your trident? Which javelin. I never see again. <laughs> okay, javelin. Exactly. That's go, why it's not crazy. the trident because I would like to keep that. Go crazy, go crazy, so good, sir. Uh... Seventeen. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. All right, so for my next my, cool. You my next five number, points of damage, minimum uh, number damage. eight. For my next action, I draw another javelin and I throw that one. Yes, minus four, I think. Yes, minus four, minus five, minus five, minus five. I put in the minus five. Yeah. Oh, if twelve, that would have hit if you didn't have the minus five though, but you yes. miss. So one in its mouth, its face, and I one will harpoon it. <laughs> With that, it decides that you are definitely going to be its next meal. It decides to water spout you. This is the one that's Ooh. adjacent to Mr. Peepers? Number eight. Number eight. No, number trying to water spout me, but yeah. I have, pla I have full hurt. plate mail, so I, know. It, it, it just, I, hit, I laugh as I take a shower. Too. Yeah, it, uh, it tries to hit you, and actually it's a critical miss. <laughs> Whoops, that's the wrong sound effect. <laughs> there we go. The critical miss sound effect. And it's like, ah, it gets angry and, and swirls a big loogie in its mouth and tries to strike at you again. 13. Nope. And this time it decides to do something sneaky. It swims, but then disappears under the water. Oh, no. Uh -oh. She went below. I don't know if she's <laughs> very smart. Or very <laughs> <laughs> very wrong, wrong uh, it's very smart, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's very smart, them serpents. <laughs> All right. Uh, this isn't going to be as good as I thought it was going to be because he went away before I could attack him. But... There's, Nick's there's Nox. One right next to me. Oh yes, Nick Knox uh, focuses his sorceress primal energies, summoning the element of electricity, and glows like Saint Elmo's fire, uh, and strikes a lightning uh, a, a, 
a, a, a, a shock of lightning from him <laughs> to that sea serpent that's 50 feet away. Do you do it for hate's sake? I do. Mm, yes. Okay. It's just it's just electric art. From hell's hot. <laughs> From hell's hot. <laughs> right, hold on. We all know the same movies. Uh, reflex save. Oh, dick. 25. Ooh. Critical success. It does uh, screw you. zero damage. It's Moby Dick or, or Wrath of God. I, I'm disappointed. Nick Sox is disappointed. Are you done? And he's done. There's no minuses for being in the water for crying out loud. <laughs> he rolled a natural 20 just I for know. that. This sea All serpent's right. going full bore on this. Oh, yeah. Was. Just for that. Oh, yeah. Like, nope. it was going to attack me. Sounds oh, good. Oh, boy. Oh, Mr. boy. Mr. says, bring it on, he says. Okay. Are you ready? Um, How's it attacking? What? How's it attacking? It's using a spine rake. It is an attack and a move in one. So screw you, Eric Mona. Is it a stride? It is, is it a stride? swim and stride at the same okay. time. All right. Okay. One. So what is a stride exactly? I, I, it's I've just, just a, a single move action. It's a move. It's oh. a move. Oh. So it's each. So the young sea serpent extends its spines along its back and strides or swims. Each Cover. creature the serpent is adjacent to at any point during its movement will take 1d4 plus 2 slashing damage with a reflex save. Are you ready for its stride? I'm ready. Three. That's right. Whoa, it came on, on the what? ship. It came on to the ship. That's oh, right, man. suckers. It came up and starts to slide across the ship. And Mr. Peepers and Nella, you guys are like, what the hell? It gives me. Nox. We have an amphibian <laughs> aboard. <laughs> this, 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 this is a yeah. it, um, it both give me reflex saves. It it's can do that. Creature. It just moves way slower when it's on board. Oh my God, Mr. Peepers! I don't even. You, I hate How you. How much damage do I take? <laughs> and you take, you take no damage as you That's critically right. succeed with the twenty-six. You piece of crap. And um, That's I roll thing. another. Oh, oh God! Do I, do <laughs> I get any benefit? Do I get any point. benefit from having taken cover or not? Just uh, yeah, you make it. You get half damage, so you just take two points of damage. That's oh, okay. Right. And. Um, but the bad news is then that was only two actions. So for its third action, it decides to bite Mr. Peepers. Oh, or does it roll a 16? It rolls a 20. Oh, it rolled in plus nine. So it's fine. Final six point. Yeah, barely hit me. <laughs> barely hit you, but I want to see them damage. I don't see damage on you. You're in charge of your own damage. Now is up. Five, is it five or six? Six, uh, six points six of damage. Six. All right. Plus now that crap. we know these guys can come on the it boat, um, I'm going to I'm yep. going to go ahead and cast Shillelagh. I assume in this oh, no. brave <laughs> in this brave new world, they don't have it. They aren't going to have attacks of opportunity. Or at least I'll take the risk. You, and then I'm going to take a swing at him. Oh no. Uh, I've seen two handed against water. Barely. Uh, it's not undead, so you only, only does four points minimum damage, right? How did you do that? You rolled so poorly. You rolled a two and a eight. Yep. Plus one. That is terrible. That happens. <laughs> um, Mr. Peepers, you're up. You are covered in venom. We you wasted all our good rolls on the gamma. I covered right? with venom. We really did. You did roll. Yeah, no, you wasted all your good rolls. Uh, Mr. Peepers, you're up. It's uh, 10 feet from you. What are you going to do? All right. Well, I'm oh, look at that flanking. Eight, look five, at that. Yeah. Flanking. Oh, he doesn't have a melee weapon though. Does doesn't he? matter. You get now. You get your sneak attack damage, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Uh, you should right. always be looking for that, by the way, Mr. Yeah. Peeper. Just, just well, saying. Well, Mr. Peeper says, <laughs> Dijon is the blessed fellow. Because he plays better than all of us, and he doesn't know the rules at did all. You, did you yeah, actually? I, I thought he needed thinking you don't need a, a melee weapon on the other side. He has a melee weapon. He yeah, has, it, a, he has, a, big, he has a big I stick. I have my staff out. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. All right. I thought Shoele was a spell. No, no. It is a spell, but it's, it creates a magical shit. All right. Wasting uh, time braiding John. Let's keep going. Jesus Christ. All right. So uh, I'm going to attack with the short sword. 24. You hit plus extra damage. Eight points of damage. Wow. Nice. And I am going to use my uh, second follow up attack, which is only at. Minus two because he is flat-footed. Well, yes. Or I do with that. However you want to do it, that's correct. I'll just attack. And you get a bonus for flanking too, right? Yeah. Well, I'll just you can't. Attack. No, no. It's it's no. It, it's the same bonus. You can't get more. It's flat-footed. He gets flat-footed for flanking and flat-footed for your thing. So it's it's not just just. Roll. So it's a negative three instead of. All right. So point. I just no. There's no negative. You hit. Sentence. I just. Roll. Uh, yeah. You actually still hit. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Peeper nine points of damage. He's a hero. Yeah. Good job. Is it dead? It's dead. Oh you God. killed the sea serpent, you piece of crap. What? Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? For yeah, crying out yeah. loud. He, he, don't, he, don't like it. he don't like it when you kill stuff. Boteris is up. Um, Mr. Peeper is the charmed one once again. And I don't see any cre creatures or any enemies. The other one went away. This the is the only one, one we have fine. to kill. Don't worry about the other one. Where could it possibly go on? Um, it really doesn't matter. I uh, I walk up here and stand right in front of the captain, and I'm like, stay behind me. I will protect you. You have the entire Pathfinder society keeping you safe. And I'm going to try to make a diplomacy check. What? To uh, <laughs> ingratiate herself or myself with her. Sure. She's I got a 17. She already has a little bit of a shine to you, if you know what I mean. So she's Excellent. like, she's like, you might be a old man, but you appear to be a pretty spry old man, if you know what I mean. And I've had plenty of time to self-practice. Um, uh, oh my God. I, I'm, uh, that's it for me. Well, this is the late show after all. I mean, I guess, you know, I do have technically one more action, so I'm just going to do a perception check to see if I can see anything out in the... Um, I will do it for you. That's a good idea, actually. That's a really good idea. You do not see anything. Okay. I oh. cannot see it! Thorgrim is up. It went under the boat. It's under the boat! All right, well... Right. Does it have three barrels on it? It has uh, three barrels. It does not have a barrel on it at I all. I wish it had a barrel on it. Um, all right, so I am going to then take this time to equip my shield. I am going to take another action to draw my trusty a trident. Yes. And I am going to try and bait it out, actually. Nice. Wow. How are you, are you I'll stand over there. Excellent. Wake your hiney at the water. Excellent. Yeah. Good job. Are you done? I'm done. Next ox, kill it if you see it. It's it's gonna come. Oh, there it is. It is behind yeah. us. He's in the house. Clever girl. <laughs> exactly. It it does the same thing. It swam under the boat, climbed up the side, and did the spike rake, shaking and swimming and trying to hit you in every way possible. Give me a reflex save, Mr. Peepers and Nella. Nella with a 25. <gasps> Mr. Peepers, he finally blows it. He rolls oh, up really? the oh. and then fails. Oh, oh, this is the point where the uh, GM forgets that three. I have half lean luck and I may re roll a saving throw once oh! a day. Oh! Oh! Nice. Oh, I hate you, Mr. Peepers. My nemesis. 14. Oh, 14. I have to take a 14. Uh, 14 actually was good enough, unfortunately. Oh, my God. Did 13 miss? Did nice. 13 miss? Yeah, 13 uh, miss, 14 good. Yeah, 14 was good. Uh, Dude. Okay, that's halfway in luck right there. 
Don't forget you have a hero point if you need to do it again. Oh, yeah. It's in my pocket. It's in the pocket. Uh, Mr. Peepers takes three points of damage. Nella takes zero damage because she nice. totally got out of the way. Nice. Nella, uh, Nix Knox is up. Nix Knox is doing what he does best hiding. Don't <laughs> stay, stay out of trouble. You're up. Shoot, shoot her. Shoot her. Shoot them. Shoot it them. 40 all. feet away, which is annoyingly 10 feet further than I want him to be. You yeah. have your, you have your uh, wizard, you have your sorcerer uh, ways, though, no? Yeah, I do. I do have my sorcerer ways, but my sorcerer ways, I need, I need an extra 10 feet or I need another action. So uh, I'm going I'm to have to do a chump move. Um, sadly. Let's see. Maybe I should move up and just do it. Maybe that's what I should do. I should just get in there. Should I just get in there? I should probably just get in there. All right. So let me see about this. Uh, twenty-five feet will get me next to Thorogram. So I'm gonna. Uh, it's it's difficult terrain going up and down those stairs. Yep. Both. Yeah, all stairs are difficult terrain. So. All right. So, uh, so at a move of 25 feet, and that's difficult terrain, going in a straight line toward Thorgrim, where does that put me? 20, 25. Right there. That's 25 feet. Let's see. All right. And that puts me 20 feet away from Mr. Sea Serpent. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, fire or electricity? Which do we like? Do we like fire or do we like electricity? We love them both. What does the chat say? Does the chat like fire or electricity? Oh, here we go. Chad, should should Nix Knox use elemental fire to kill? Burn it or electrocute it? Fire. I see a lot of fire. All right. Uh, I see fire. uh, fire. Electricity, fire. Let's see. Fire, fire. I I, I, I see fire. I see fire. Oh, it's tied. It's tied. Oh, oh, it's tied. tied. tied, Oh, 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 hugs. Hugs. Go give it a hug. hug. I I did. I did electricity last time, so I'm going to go fire. Uh, I'm going to use my. I'm going to use my special. My my (laughs) disappointingly not as mighty as it really should be, considering it's all special. Uh, Special focus spell, elemental toss. I'm going to toss fire in its face. You got it. Fire. Do you have to roll a hit? It was actually really close. Yeah, after all. Fire won by like one. That, oh, was, no, my, that was my tied. vote. <laughs> now it's tied again. I voted. <laughs> no, it's too late. Uh, now, now it's giving me trouble selecting myself. Hold on a second. Oh. I can do it for you. I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't want to toss. Elemental. Does, does it automatically put in my attack bonus, and this is just an added thing that I don't have to worry about? It does automatically, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just hitting it. Okay. Uh, attack is a 16, and that will hit. Nice. Good. So you flick your wrist, you roll, and you deal, holy moly, eight points of damage. Thank you, everyone in chat. You we advise like me correctly. We like you. It does not like that fire. Nella does it, is up. Does it, does it go it, on fire? No. No, no, it doesn't do it. It's only on a critical hit. It actually, uh, actually not on elemental toss. does double damage. It does double damage. But, and uh, it no. is fire for me because fire is my element. That's a new That's to me. You are me. Right. I'm going to take a guarded step to try to reset the flanking. And I'm going to go ahead and attack. Okay. A 10 will not do it. You know what? I'm going to hero point that. Oh. Nice job. Cheetah. Cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the hero point didn't Cheetah do Cheetah never prosper. Well, at this point, I have a third action. Nothing to do with it, so I'm going to try one more attack. Those of you who listen to Dead Sons, you will know where that cheater voice came from from two years ago. <laughs> And that's even worse. Oh, it's never possible. Well, that was a waste of a round. A waste of a round for the cheetah. It was a try. It was a good try. Mr. Peepers is up. <laughs> I'm actually not going to move there for flanking, so Thorgrim can get in there. I don't know. Oh, thank you. I, You'll probably finish it off, but thank, yeah, thank you. I've got I two hits to get through first, so. 
Uh, I'm going to attack with a short sword. 26! It's not a crit. Yeah, that's that's what the green number is. Okay, let's add up that damage. Wow. Eight 20, damage. Twenty-five no, damage. Twenty twenty damage. Twenty damage. Oh, wow. 20 damage. oh my oh, god. Five it? plus twenty? It's, it's, it's no, it's it's you rolled a six and a four times two. Uh uh you yeah, you you did twenty points of damage. Oh my god. What a okay, shot. It, it's rolls everything, it's just the way the program does it. It rolls right. damage, it rolls critical separately because it can't save variables, and then it rolls sneak attack separately too. You don't get sneak attack. Oh, Mr. Peepers, if you if you flanked, you could have gotten the sneak, but you didn't. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I am going He's to purposely didn't <laughs> going to yeah, I'd rather him have uh flanking. I'm going to attack again with my uh uh twin faint. If ability. you roll above a 20, I'm gonna be <laughs> Congrat congratulatory. Let's oh, that what you were gonna, gonna say? That. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna say congratulatory. Congratulatory. What's gonna happen? Mr. Peoples is gonna no go. No minuses. A fifteen. So probably a thirteen at least. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. No, you plus the minus. Uh, yeah, you miss. Okay. And for my third attack. Oh God. <laughs> that's right. You got dual wield going. That's awesome. Yeah, but that's a minus eight. Uh, it's, yeah, that's this eight. is a full minus eight. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a big almost, thing. though. Yeah. <laughs> Not out of the round. Not really. I selflessly left the spot open for you there, Thor. Uh, uh, Thank you. Vorteris, he sees All right. the serpent right in front of him. Too. I am going to use two of my actions to cast daze on the uh, creature. Oh, lordy. <laughs> it's a will saving throw. Or Terrace, allow me the glory of the kill. Oh, no. No, that's not very good. So that is a failed saving throw. And what that means is you take uh, full damage, which because of my intelligence is plus four, you take four points of damage as the creature's mind becomes hazed and uh, takes mental damage. Four points. No, it the glories. <laughs> it, it gets hit with the days. It's like, oh, and no. Then, and then I am going to like... A heart is defeated, and I'm gonna like give a big hug to uh, the the captain, and and again try to throw another diplomacy check. Oh no, she there. just hugs you back and gives you a big old kiss right on the Yay! mouth. Yay! Okay, uh, it's probably wow. pretty gross because all those teeth Jeez, are rotting. Oh, and stuff. she doesn't care. She's a dwarf. She's actually hey. <laughs> I resemble that remark. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I like um, how you killed the monster. You just filled it with self doubts. Uh, that's right. Gave up on life. <laughs> I had to deal with that self doubt for six decades myself, <laughs> and now it is good to share it with an <laughs> evil creature of the sea. Let's see, so Volteris, he's winning in gambling. He's got the girl, and he yes. kills the creature. Right, this is it's going to be one for one the Chronicles. <laughs> Does he also have his hand on the wheel and another one on a mug of ale? Or yes, something like, that? like he's in a beer yeah, One of his hands is around the shoulders of the dwarf captain because they're having their moments. <laughs> and then the other hand is, yeah, it's on the wheel. Vorteris, <laughs> uh, please, in your chronicle, remember to mention my, my skillful uh, javelin throw. <laughs> yes, I will That's be sure right. to do that, Thorgrim. Thank Don't you, forget sir. it. Thank it's you. easily forgettable, but you can't forget. We shall all live eternally in legend lore. <laughs> <laughs> but me more so. Ha! <laughs> I will live eternally in like li the literal sense, but but we will all have posthumous fame. All right. So wow. do, we do we have enough crew to to, to actually <laughs> sail the ship? Actually, I'll look over and see if any if there's any, yeah. survi so, any survivors. I mean, are uh, they just yeah. dead? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're dead. alive. Yeah. What? Maybe oh, I have to do my due diligence to leave. Cut open the sea serpents and have them come out like in, in Jaws. It's all coming back to Jaws and the body. Yeah, there's like license plates. And yeah, that. right. Uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> want that uh, the body of that boy to spill out all over the dock, though. That's right. That'd be gross. Too much. Too much. Uh, never mind all that. I'm searching the bodies for treasure. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you, you find some of the well, remnants of, of the deckhands in the gu gullet. Check of, their pockets. Of, uh, oh, yeah. Let me know if you find any copper coins. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, they're, they're quite, they're quite dead. Yeah. There's a, uh, no component of these beasties that would be good. For, I can't render it for uh good, uh, oil or anything no, like no. that. Okay. And, and All the right. Captain, the captain's like, Oh, poor Mike, Patty, Stan and Jane. I'll tell you a secret of the old sea. Always give your deckhands only one name. So you don't get too attached. <laughs> right. <laughs> Try to make sure they're as ethnically correct as possible. As well, well for the lands of the land. And as boring as possible as well. All right. <laughs> right. Let's, uh, just get, let's just get back to civilization. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Right. I've, I've got, got quite a chronicle to write. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes. And it's like, well, uh, you you five will make enough of a crew to get back. Let's just leave this accursed place and right. feast on sea serpent tonight. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we can. Taxi Dermy man gonna have a heart attack when he sees what we brought him. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you sail back to port and you return back to the venture captain. Oh, we can do that real quick. Hey, okay, because we got, we got, we got that map. Yay! Yeah, we, we got, got the better. thing off of us. Uh, Nick Knox, as always, can you use your magics to to clean my armor? I'm I'm filthy from the oh, sea, absolutely. sea slime and absolutely. Oh, yeah, salt water and everything yeah. else. Can that go around a little bit? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sea slime, the all up. The wealthy, the all up. Salt of the sea, and with that, he looks at you all delighted, and with the body, who's mostly intact, uh, with the the gortlet and the axe. And he's like, oh, this will greatly please the Grinskodas. Thank you. I'll make sure you're all on the list for a very special event coming up soon. I can't tell you what the event is, but let's just say these might come in handy. And with that, he gives you, each of you, a vial. Of lesser winter wolf elixirs. Ooh, Ooh, what is that? Look up on internet. I will actually tell you a secret is that I think Adventure 1 10. Oh, that's it. Yes, Adventure 1 10 Tar Breakers Trail. You will use the boon you get in this um, adventure. In that adventure, it changes. So. Huh. That is one of the cool aspects of this quest. And with that, you have successfully found the Gortlet, and Vorteris is quickly becoming a legend in his own time after in just two own. quests. In, <laughs> in his, his own, own mind, mind, anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. his own mind <laughs> in his own time. He's got a good hype man when it comes to the Pathfinder Chronicles. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, man, it's a shame. I will tell you real quick that water spout. If you failed the roll, Chris, yeah, you would have been confused. Oh, that's not good. Which means you would have started attacking your own others or attack myself uh, or you know, stand there. Oh, no, 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 no. It's Take much better in Pathfinder. Is it? Damage. All you do is attack randomly other people. It wouldn't that matter because I can't hit anyways. So. Actually, yeah, it's, it's Chris. So I he can't roll like a Mr. Peter. He would have put his shield up in front of random people. <laughs> that's yeah. right. He would have even ran up and slapped <laughs> them hardly with his hand. <laughs> I would have critically missed and healed them instead. <laughs> yeah, so he would have like, I, I give you uh, lay on hands and I give you lay on hands and you too, good sir. So, All right. Yes, nice. you successfully completed. Oh my God, it's nine fifty-five. We did it! Wow, we perfect time! Perfect, perfect, perfect timing! First time, first time. First time. Woo, ever. ever. Well, that was a good warm-up adventure. Let's start the real one now. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. But I start hope everyone. Rise of the Rune Lords. Let's okay, go. So who? Let's do the final vote. Twitch viewers, who was the MVP? Who deserves the special? reward at the end of this adventure uh let's see was it nella who became a fish and swam in the water after losing the cards was it thorgrim who never got his chance to gamble was it Mr. Peepers, who leads nothing but a charmed life? Peepers, yeah, won every <laughs> role, practically, the whole thing. Nick Knox, who was able to craft a 
fart skin full of air and was able to hide nearly the entire adventure as he hates water? Or was it Volteris who seemed to win the whole adventure all by himself? Certainly won the heart of the captain. Let's see. Oh, a lot of people like Peepers. Peepers. Yeah, Peepers is on fire. Peepers. Unfortunately, Mr. Peepers. Oh, I got one on boy. Thank you. The deckhand, Mike the deckhand. Nick Knox, <laughs> the dog. And hey, that's Jason. Jason, once again, screwing up the boat. Sorry. Oh, Terrace, Folger, Thorgrim, you're getting some love. Oh, my God. The people love nice. you, Chris. <laughs> one of those votes is me, so. Uh, wow. <laughs> cheetah. Rojan 333. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. You know, this wasn't one of Nick Knox's best adventures, but if you listen to the podcast, Nick Knox uh, has a, a lot of shenanigans in some of the other adventures, especially the one we just posted. What was it one dash twelve when we went to the city um, uh, where where Mister Peepers got the tattoo? But uh, yeah, I didn't do so was, well in that adventure. This you know, was a charmed adventure. I'll take all the high rolls I can get. Yeah. Yeah. Peepers yes. does fabulously in every adventure. He does. He does. It's kind of unbelievable. Uh, it's pretty close. Uh, Voltaire has definitely won, but Thorgrim's a close second, and Peepers a distant third. And, uh, <laughs> not really, not really they're all good on the All Star team. Yeah, yes, they're all good. I, but it's uh, these water adventures. It's funny. I'm, I look through them. I'm like, water adventure, water adventure, water. They're all water adventures. It's just, it just seems to be the theme this season. It's we'll take, not, we'll take whatever we can get. Every season, you guys. It's not, the, it's not the year of the open road. It should be called the year of the open sea because every adventure is on the water this season. It's a great blue watery road is the it sea. Is. No kidding. Um, but anyhow, everyone, thanks for joining us, listening. Again, if you like what you see, join us at Roll for Combat. Listen to the podcast. comes out every single week. You can find it anywhere and everywhere. Podcasts are. You can find it on YouTube. A lot of people like to listen to it on YouTube. We basically just put the podcast on YouTube. You can find it there. Definitely check out our Discord channel. We got thousands of people actually on our Discord channel. It's quite large. Huge community. We run approximately one new Pathfinder or Starfinder Society game every three days. We start a new table. So there's a lot of tables on there. So if you're looking for games and you like what you've been doing at PaizoCon, check it out. You can keep doing that. We do both play by post and over live games like VTT games like uh, Roll20 um, or any other VTTs. And of course, thank you, Eric. And thank oh. you for having PaizoCon online because everyone is loving it. Thank Boy, it's, th it's been a great response. And thank you guys for having me on uh, the stream. I really appreciate the opportunity to game with you guys. And thanks everybody for watching and participating in PaizoCon online. Yes, yes. Yeah, thank it, you. It's a shame that we couldn't do it in person, but the next this next time next best thing. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. But thank you so much. And with that, I think we'll all say adieu because it is actually 10 o'clock. I can't believe it. We did it right That's on amazing. We never wow. do it. I mean, that's First of all, the reality you speak. <laughs> that is amazing. Amazing. It never happens. <laughs> so, again, thank you all. And uh, I'll see you all in the future. And have everyone a good PaizoCon. Have a great convention, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.